Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I said I just saw Lizzo in a, a Savage Fenty push-up, bro. So I don't think we get no Rihanna music. That's it. Once Lizzo with a push-up, bro. You know, yeah. It's, it's, that's a hundred mil right there. Yeah. I wouldn't put out an album. Or, or is that the rollout more? For the album? For Lizzo and Rihanna. And why would you search single? in Lizzo in a bra? Yeah, I wasn't, it was all over my timeline. I didn't search anything. Uh, yo, was, yo, that line has to go soon. It, it was the all truth, over the timeline. <laughs> it, it was, was, I was on that same timeline no, all day. Was. I didn't it, see it was. Lizzo and Penny. We, we follow the same people. <laughs> yeah, word. Nah, it was on my timeline. Word? Yeah. Let me go check what T.A. been posting. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. It, wasn't, it was the IG story timeline, not the regular timeline. Oh. Mm. Somebody had it. Up I there. never even heard it. I didn't know people when people say all over the timeline that they even referred to that one. Yeah, it's yeah. timeline too. I actually spend yeah, more time on the IG story timeline than I do. Oh no, I know. Am I regular? No, no. <laughs> well, oh, we no. see the evidence. Oh, no, 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 littered. No, no, no. We see the likes littered hey, no, all no, no, over no, no, the timeline. No. <laughs> Ain't no trust. Yeah. yeah. We know. Yeah. Uh all right, let me introduce this shit. Uh let me do my hand rub. Man, I'm all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> do I, what's happening? Hand rub. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing rub. of the intro. Yeah, let me yeah, do my hand part rub. Of it. Got to rub it. Now noticed. you got to rub the yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah, that's like LeBron's powder. Yeah. <laughs> With no powder, I got you. That's it's just new poor ashes <laughs> falling. <laughs> yeah, that's all. It is. I'm so podcast. No, no, no. no, just no. Can't do it. Yeah, all right. No. All right. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's wait, Spotify. Wait, see, yeah. what, see what happens when I do my hand rub. <laughs> <laughs> Everything falls off. Yeah, man. All right, microphone check. Mic check, Sunday week. My mic, make it mic. Make it make it All right, all right. Shut the fuck up, goddamn. Well, where were you gonna take that? I'm so podcast bar next. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm curious. What, what rhymes with podcast? The world will never Come know on, now. What rhymes with Come podcast? On. A few things. Not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> A few things do. Yeah. Spotify. No Comcast. I knew where he was going. Mm. Close enough. Ro- <laughs> close enough. Row row. Yeah. Row row. <laughs> you got had the Pellegrino, but just row row. We not doing. <laughs> yo, not somebody. Doing. Yo, I said it was Rory's fault that Nikki retired. Somebody he said, I knew Red Robin was going to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I called him Red Robin. <laughs> That's Red funny. Red Robin. Wait, yo, all right, we're all over the place. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wayne's lighter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, microphone check. One, two, what? I have no idea what episode this is, so fuck it. Uh, welcome. What episode is this? 278. Mark? Welcome to episode 278 of the JBP. Oh my no. God. I am your. This is the Joe Button Podcast. Yeah. All right, so Joe 278. Button. Thank you, yeah. Parks. Uh, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode 278. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Uh, Roro is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. And Screen Man is here. Roro is about to knock JoJo the fuck out. <laughs> JoJo. <laughs> And Ro- well, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> JoJo's winning that one. <laughs> Roro's going down. <laughs> Roro and JoJo. That's nasty. Don't, go, don't call me gross. JoJo again. Don't yeah. call me Roro. <laughs> and we're good. Problem right. solved. Fair. But I want to call you Roro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want what, what comes with it, though. Uh, how's everybody doing, man? Feeling good. Good, man. You niggas. Good. Everything's good. How you, how you doing, Joe? Weather's you guys changing. are matching. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. Are, oh guess, yeah, <laughs> guys are both both tough and in the crowd. That's true. Mm, I'm knowledge. wearing my tough crowd merch <laughs> merchandise that Maul gave me. Mm. It's not even merchandise. It's just clothes. It's just shirts. I, I see Maul is wearing the LA hat, but this time it has like the general stripes on it. Mm, mm. LA general. Yeah. From New York. <laughs> With a trucker hat too, so he's like a trucker general. Oh, oh, oh. Trucker general. I'm the general of the trucks <laughs> in LA mm-hmm. and New York. In New York. Yeah. Oh, and it's Ed Hardy, so you like an No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> nah, you kind of got the Ed Hardy nah, yellow. No, 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 Joe used to turn Ted down in the mall looking for the new yeah, Ed. Yeah, he definitely did. Everybody, he the, nah, no, so yeah, not everybody. Relax. You everybody was the gen, relax. You was the Ed Hardy general. Ed and the truth? Saw, yeah. I definitely what? saw Joe on What's Poppin.net in a, a Ed Hardy shirt for sure. Shit. <laughs> You've seen him in every shirt. Joe was like, you bugging? I spent 700 on this. I was like... <laughs> no, that's why you're bugging. That <laughs> that's why you're bugging. Send the skulls back. <laughs> 
<laughs> rhinestone skull. That was a sick fucking period. I gotta though. give it. <laughs> it was gross. Mall, that was mall's, fuck, mall's return serve is nice. I got a trick for you. What you mean? <laughs> yeah. that, my Ed Hardy joke was on you. But it's Why only am I funny, sitting here it's only funny when everybody knows <laughs> nah. you're General Ed Hardy. But everybody don't know that. Everybody know that. Yeah, go to go Joe, Joe Button, Button Fitz. Fitz. Yeah, <laughs> he know that. Whoever's You'll see it. <laughs> it's Has there. he given him the Ed Hardy sauce? Yet? It's out there. For sure. Oh, yeah. uh, hi to our Spotify listenership. <laughs> That's Our Joe YouTube Button Fitz. viewership. Shout out to all the ladies. Ladies. Yo. <laughs> You're still that guy? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Everybody with a birthday voice. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are my Sag, Sag in the house? <laughs> Low hanging fruit like a motherfucker. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna be awake soon. Don't y'all worry about it. <laughs> but won't y'all, hey, hey, will y'all intro this motherfucker? How about that? You intro it. We here. All right. Yeah. Well, well, y'all take it from here. What's that's, up? That's like when I laugh. At, <laughs> it's like when I laugh at Chris and Lowe and Howard Homecoming Palooza. We be like, yo, yo, if you got a college degree and went to college, make some noise. I'm like, all right, let's let's try to <laughs> let's try to raise the bar. Yelling at, on yelling at the, noise. the middle of Howard University. <laughs> yeah, I hear, I hear you though. That's a cheat code. Well, come yeah. on. Who y'all want to shout out? Shout somebody out. The Virgos, shout man. Out nobody. The Virgos. <laughs> Joe definitely Birthday shout specials the all month. No cover charge. <laughs> Ladies free. <laughs> bottle bottle prices. Ciroc and champagne. Five hundred. I, I don't think any of them do say Palooza niggas would have made it in the flyer era. Like I'd have hit all them niggas. <laughs> like if they had to get, yeah, if they were giving me a flyer in the street. Oh yeah, no, no, no. No, we would send the promo I, team to do I'd that. I'd hit every one of them niggas. You would have hit them? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck out my face, nigga. Fuck them fly on the floor. That's the lost thing, though. Parking at the club and then coming out I really with like think the flyers. environment is probably in a better space now with the flyer era yeah. going. There's still a flyer guy in Steinway. He goes spaghetti oh, oh, and course. goes, she's the of worst. Course. It's still somebody handing out flyers yeah. on Steinway? Yeah. yeah. And he'll, like, stop you dead in the tracks, like... No. Jump in front of you with the flyer. You're, you're getting you're like, this Yo, pink bro. flyer with a Mercedes Benz and a person that's not going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get this flyer with Beyonce on it Yeah, for the hookah lounge. <laughs> that's like when dudes hand you a CD. Yeah. It still happens. Yeah, it does, which is crazy. Do y'all say something to him when y'all get a CD or do you take the CD? I say I don't have a CD player, sir. Yeah, it depends. On I just bumped into a dude in LA last week and he he gave me a CD and I'm like, fam, where do I play this at? Yeah. He was like, yo, I'm just, just need five dollars. I was like, if you want five dollars and I can't play your music? <laughs> he said, oh, send me your email. I email my, my, my album to you in five dollars. I was like, you gonna email me the album right here on the street? <laughs> and now you got my email. And charge you for it? For five dollars. <laughs> charge you for like, the email. Why are you charging yeah. me? You gave me a chore. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> You're charging about? me for a chore? For spam? That's a different hustle. That's a different hustle. I'm gonna email That's you my wild. album right in front of you. Well, did they at least start with yo, yo, you look like you like hip hop? <laughs> nah, you start with that. Mm-mm. Okay. He handed me the CD and I was looked at him like he was crazy. Like, where do I play this? Yeah. It's almost over for the USB handoff too. Yeah, they don't have USB ports somewhere. Mm, really? Wait, wait, wait. Not really. Wait, wait. Is, that, what? is it almost over? A lot for of new laptops. USB it's it's on its way out. Yeah. There's no USB well, ports anymore. Well, what? Then what's a demo going to be on? SoundCloud. Yeah. Like everybody else. Funny shit is niggas just put their demos out. The demos be the first the album. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that was just a mixtape. Yeah. No, that was your demo. It's cool. Told you. No singles. Works, nah, you works for chance. Things. If it ain't no more demos, it's definitely no more singles. I'm sorry. Maul, would you get off of this? And I'm not. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Maul, no. is there a difference okay. between a single and the first song you put out for your album? Yeah, if you push it like it's like a single, then it's a single. So I just put a record out and don't push it? Yeah. All right, I'm doing my drops. I'm not okay, doing go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No job. No. No worry, and ma. This park. This this park. What's happening? Uh, the, okay. Now we're here. The fuck is going on? What's happening? What's a popping? Lot, a lot. Where, where do y'all? Where do y'all want to start? Where do you want to begin? Um, I always probably ask the biggest that. news of the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> start there. This is definitely Joe's shit, too. Worry, you better- uh-huh, Barb's. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Rory's bar, now man. I see, now, I see where, now I see where this is going. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I, I only thought of that when I pulled up here. Because I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Nick. Like, I'm super happy for her. Okay. Mm. Even, if I'm, even if I'm not all the way believing, believing it, mm. I love the move. And when I thought about how much I love the move, I thought about how much the bar hated this move. Probably. I don't know that. And then I got a yeah. good little laugh and said, ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Are we the Madden curse? No, I know. <laughs> for, the, for the bar? For, no, for people retiring. What? You, Nikki. I mean, Chance. That's ju- Chance. Chance. No, my fault. no, you retire. 
<laughs> Chance. <laughs> he just put out his debut. Dog, he's, a, <laughs> he's rookie of the year. <laughs> Best new artist. Yeah, he should have been on the freshman cover. <laughs> no debut. All right, I'm done with y'all. Can you not? Can y'all try for once? Just I, for I can once see... in life to not joke through a topic. No. Nah. Why would Who's we do that? Yeah. Why, why, why don't you give me your five second serious take and then joke? Okay. And you don't really get the joke right now. You sad, nigga. No, I'm not. Yeah, smoke, you are, boss. No, you sad. Everything's okay. Oh, you heard her? Yeah. Say, so what's up? What you said? Okay. Damn, man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I love yo, how y'all think that I yo, start yo, every yo, conversation yo, with somebody. Yo, the game ain't never going to be the same. <laughs> 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 the thing, yo, it, it'll never. That, that, that is, yo, let me see your phone. You definitely hit Nick like, yo, <laughs> feel different out here already. <laughs> Yo, the energy already the is la- like the yeah. landscape. The landscape is changing. It's, yeah, the, the climate is <laughs> so different. Yeah, without you, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he, he typed the. He typed the. <laughs> yeah. Yo, y'all say it's a voice note. Y'all just think I got the nastiest conversation <laughs> game ever, man. I'm curious to know how you started off the conversation. Oh, no, I'm, I didn't speak to. Her. Yeah, I'm oh, curious to know how you talk to girls. <laughs> you know how? I, <laughs> yo, this <is> right. <laughs> Yeah, all right, Joe. Okay. All right, now we're I see, no, I see where we're going. Out. I'm chilling. Yeah. I ain't like it. Maul, it already yeah. seen Maul. earlier. That shit like stuck me a little bit. Maul definitely hit the comment fade to pink. <laughs> you see, Rory? All right. All right. <laughs> fade to pink. It's good to know what y'all think about me. Maul DM, there's never been a woman this good for this long, this hot, <laughs> or this pop, this rock, with, this, with so many different flows. <laughs> It's never been a woman that's good for this long. What's going to happen when you no longer exist? <laughs> Fuck this. Yo, why can't you guys ever be serious on a Saturday? And this is serious news. Barbs, I apologize. I don't want to smoke with y'all. No. Uh, come what does on, this cause, mean cause for the barbs? It, it, well, what does this mean for Nick? Well, do y'all believe it? Come on, let, let's talk for real. No. Do y'all believe this? No. Uh, I think she's going to take some time off to have a family and stuff like that. But I, she'll, she'll. Do you think she's pregnant? Right now, uh, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think so. Trying to get, trying to be, probably. I, I would guess. Well, it sounds like one, she's one of the to two be, yeah. to start yeah. a family, yeah. if not already trying. Got it. So, so you say no? You don't believe? I that. think she'll make music again. Yeah, and more. She'll make music again. Rory, hundred percent will make music again. But uh, Good, make take it, some time. Make it again like soon. And I mean, I say that she came on this podcast, and it sounded like. She had big things planned. Yeah, she sounds like about it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I still think the album she was recording or working on, it will be released. But I think after that, she'll... You're right, because that don't... Retirement don't say I'm not putting out the music I just finished working on. Yeah, no. Mm. So no, moving no, forward, no. I won't be touring. I won't be, you know... But didn't like she that. have a tour plan, too? I believe yeah. she did, yeah. Yeah. Do y'all believe that all of this stuff is just done at the moment? At the moment, yeah. yeah. for sure. It could be a momentary moment, but yeah. And why do and and then that's my I next. Mean, question. I don't think she's gonna put this album out that she spoke about on this podcast for another year and a half, two years. Really, I don't. Yeah, see Yeah, I think that. she'll take some time. She might pop up on a feature or two. I could see the album not coming out before it comes out in a year and a half. She's, yeah, because she's mean, not really the. Uh, unless I don't, we don't know who the executive producer was. Like, unless she was doing something really uh, timeless type of music, she makes pretty current pop kind of music. So, an album by her. A year or half, two years old will sound pretty dated. Yeah, I don't think that she. Uh... And that's not a disrespect. That's just what you know. If you make popular music, you can't put out an album two years late. It sounds crazy. Yeah, I think that she'll just you know because that's the thing when it would with, with with female artists we you know you have to take in consideration them having family. It's yeah. not like when a guy gets his wife or his girlfriend pregnant, like he can keep doing. You know, but when the female, when the artist is a female, things do have to change in that. So, yeah. I understand it. Early leave. I, I believe she wants to start a family, and you know, I think she just feel like now is the time. Mm. Um, what I will say is listening to her <laughs> over the last, <laughs> let's say, just these recent months. To me, it sounded like it sounded like a woman that that had. I don't want to say it was ready to retire, but it sounded like a woman that's had enough. Mm. Uh, just needed needed a break. No. Not in a bad I'm way. not saying break. Yeah, I don't think you can say break. She doesn't put out music that frequently. 
When you're as wealthy as her, but she's still I don't probably pretty like... active within making the music. I'm sure. I don't think Nikki rushes through any of her projects. I don't think so either. So I, I think she's actively making music when she's quiet. So I, part of retirement would be not doing so and still being quiet. I think these last few months she has said a lot of things that has that have left me confused. Like, <clears throat> wow, well, I don't know if an active artist would be saying this, but an active media personality would. Like mm-hmm. that's the that's that's the rock and a hard place I've been between listening to her for the past however many months, and I do think that she's really really good at that media shit. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's great at it, and I do think that she has a really <clears throat> bright future in media. Yeah, she may have something up her sleeve, something that you know made her say, you know what, fuck music for now. I wouldn't doubt it. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it at all. Yeah, she. Uh, I could see her going all the way down to doing red carpet shit, like. Talking to people in that type of capacity, uh, I think I can bigger, see. Bigger I can see her. talk. I can see talk shows. I can see things of that nature with her, not just doing a broadcast. The new Joan Rivers. I can see. I it. can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If if we are to believe the retirement, uh, now I guess Maul can give this one to me. But where do we? Uh, where does her legacy stand? Do y'all hear, you hear that? What's that? No, oh, just no. That, okay. you don't hear that. Um, what is what is Nicki Minaj's legacy if this retirement is true today, Maul? Uh, she's definitely. She would probably top two female rappers of all time. Well, shit, now that I'm, I'm listening to myself ask you that, when she did our podcast, in hindsight, go back and listen to it. When you can get through the yelling, it just sound like a legacy act on a legacy tour, cementing her own legacy since people wouldn't wouldn't do it for her, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or at least uh, to her satisfaction. Right. Mm-hmm. I think. I mean, she again. You can't. You're not going to be able to talk about hip hop. As a, as a culture and not mich- mention Nicki Minaj and her influence and what she was able to do, how she came. She came up through the mixtape thing. She was like one of the, probably one of the first females to do that, I think. Yeah. That uh, to reach her status. You yeah. know what I mean? Come up from that from that era. So I mean I mean she's a legend. There's, there's no way around it. I mean some people might have a bad taste in their mouth for her over the past couple of years or whatever, but for whatever reason, I don't know. But when you listen to the music and look at her career and what she was able to accomplish, even in film, and you know, she just just her influence and her impact on the culture is is bar none. It's right up there with Kim, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely top of yeah. the top of the pile mm-hmm. as far as female rappers and in rappers in general, she's top tier. Yeah. Why yeah. would someone who constantly reminds us of how successful she is and how Chart, uh, chart topping her music is just stop it. Nobody wonders that. Uh, per- personal reasons and maybe not bad personal reasons, just yeah. personal reasons on damn near what she said. Yeah, she yeah. I'm at a point in my life Actually, that I want to have, and I think she said that in the music a few times about wanting to start a family eventually, and in interviews that I'm going to stop doing this at some point. Mm-hmm. I'd like to have a family. Right. So, and I think this this hiatus, retirement, whatever you want to call it will be good for her because to Maul's point, I think people will start, I think she's one of those artists that people will start recognizing her legacy and impact like when it's, when, when she's it's, not long, yeah, yeah she's, she's no longer just active not like as that. active yeah. as before. Yeah, for sure. Because when she's right in your face and an antic and you know, we have a memory of, of 30 seconds now. So like her latest tweet <laughs> may overshadow her legacy for some weird reason just the time we're in. So I think, yeah, give, give some time. People will remember exactly the impact Nicki Minaj had. I think we need more dramatic artist exits than a tweet. I, I agree. Yeah. Because Nicki is much Nikki bigger than tweeting. Nicki deserves yeah. a better exit than, yo, I'm done. Right. Like, that was appropriate for Joe. <laughs> 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 like, like, save on. No. Save on. We did BB Kings. Yeah, we did a farewell tour. And then went on another tour afterwards, but... <laughs> Listen, man, time's hard. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I told you, I keep telling y'all, bills are retired. <laughs> y'all niggas, <laughs> rap it, let Nikki yell in retirement now. Let them bills start catching with three. It's gonna be like, yo, mm-hmm. it's a Pink Friday. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> like, let me tell you something. A freestyle dropping something. Them, them, them Nikki's bills are not piling up. No, oh, no, no, no. She's yeah, she's very well. Tip, Either man. way, these artists. Wait, he got what for that festival? Right. Oh, oh it's I, time to rap again. Yeah, exactly. I, I knew her. I knew her. Uh, her bills weren't uh, racking up anytime soon when uh, hospitality had to set up 
before the podcast, you did with us. Yeah. Mm. See, see yeah. The old lady said I'm cheese and crackers. Yeah. yeah. Well, much different than she, our hospitality. She had a portable yeah. save on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had yeah. a save on and like really did with the work. With a table. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and mind you, it was a whole room where there was like, yo, no one can go in that room but her. I was like, she's going to eat all that food? I'm starving. <laughs> Funny because she ain't even touch it. Her or yeah, her fucking husband. I was like, damn, that's swag. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't eat that. Yo, set up all that shit. Bring a whole cake ring and don't yeah. touch it. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um... Well, where else do we go from here? Um, time, time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> I think she has a promising future in, in media. Uh, I do too. I still think she's going to rap. Still think she'll do a lot of features. She was, like I said, she wasn't the most. She only has what four albums, five albums. Yeah, but I think she's like a universal workhorse. I think she works hard. I'm not. I'm not saying that, but just retiring from music from someone that doesn't put out compared to her peers. If you look at Drake and. I mean, Wayne is different because he was in contract disputes, but they might even Wayne, Wayne might even Wayne have more just, albums. Wayne is a whole separate yeah. monster when it comes to putting music out. Yeah, but most of her peers have, have more albums than her. Is all I'm saying. Of that tier artist, period. S- something I didn't understand in her tweet was she said, "I know you guys are happy now." I mean, that's the that was a that was you'll see what happens oh. when I no longer exist. Yeah, yeah but why put that in Fuck that this. tweet though? That's, that's, that's what that's what she does, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I just uh, I wouldn't have put that in there, but. I bet you he re-recorded that fuck this shit. And, with, and he hit the mic stand, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that part. <laughs> like your head, man. He did hit the mic stand. He did. Loud. Like, come on, ho. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure it's an expensive mic. If we're, the studio wasn't happy about it. I know, it. Guru was sitting there like, you? <laughs> <Yeah>. It's vintage. <laughs> we rented that. What do you mean? Like, like the mic I just had to repay G-Spin for after Chris Styles got in the pool with it? Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Those do say boys. <laughs> but they know how to party. Yeah. I tell you that. Yeah. And mics ain't cheap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, man. There's something else up with this. Yeah, I think. And I, and I know it's my job to think that. Yeah. But there's some, something else is going on here. Yeah, I think something will come up as far as more, an announcement about some more thing will she's be revealed doing. on yeah. this. Either some some big business is coming or big family. Yeah, are you gonna blame you know this saying? this one on Larry Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'd love to know how Larry Jackson feels about it. <clears throat> well, Shit, it would affect him. Th- retirement from music don't mean she's about to stop her radio show. No, I think it's gonna add more to it. I, I think. He's happy from a business standpoint. I wonder if this is a way to get from underneath contracts or get out of contracts. Uh, I don't know how that works, really. Is there a, a retirement clause on I mean, on everything's music? negotiable, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I, you can I just did. retire out of it. Most music uh, recording contracts and be like, I'm going to retire, wait a year, and be like, yep, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, yeah. but I'm, not with you guys. I'm certainly reading into this probably too much, but we have a podcast. Uh... For Trini Independence Day, I think that's what it was. Don't quote me. Uh, Nikki put up an old video that she did in Trinidad. And the caption was, uh, this was back when Birdman used to say, give Barbie whatever she wanted. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just interesting. I don't don't think, yeah. Yeah. So you think business affected this decision somehow? That is what my first inclination is. Again, I don't have very much information. And right at the moment, I'm just happy for her. I, I want I want all the artists to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> then what would you what culture would you state? Well no, I'm stating the car. I stopped I stopped <laughs> I stopped culturing to state it. <laughs> well stop. You culture. need people to culture so you can state it. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's a different landscape out there if rappers just wake up and say, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah. We've had that conversation. That's I know, that's, and I stand by it. <laughs> Yeah. I know, I know you do. So that's that's just a that's a tough. So one. like, let's say like I retired and I still have recording contracts out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm sure there's a slaughterhouse contract that my name is on somewhere. Yeah, I still owe an album to Empire. Uh but what happened was I started doing something totally different, and that's how I made all my money. And now whatever I sign, none of that shit is applicable to my newfound career. Right. That's one, two, and this don't don't apply for her. But uh, shit, my I got out of my publishing deal once I retired. You say you just say you retire and sentiments change. Hmm. People are more open. People are more susceptible to 
certain conversations. Again, I'm not saying any of this is applicable to her. Right. But if an artist were to retire, I think more niggas should retire. That's all. The niggas that should that are capable of getting money in another field, like large sums of it, like Nikki, like Vince, I always say, like Wale, I always say. There's a bunch of niggas. I can name them for days. Mm. Fuck this shit. Or do both. I no. just but you but you see you know the reason why I don't understand why artists would retire today only because it's so easy to put out music and it's so easy to make money off of it now because right now if I'm pretty sure if it was a way for us to check Nikki's streams and what what everything is going on with her her four, older albums yeah them shit is probably going through the roof right now probably like if you if an older group was to put out six records a little EP yeah. And people be like, oh, these they came back, they did this, like, uh, let's say Onyx or somebody. Right. They put out an EP today. Right. It may not top the charts. But it'll do well. They'll make money, they'll be able to probably tour, their old projects to start streaming, like... The thing about retirement, to me, actually, to your point, but kind of the opposite, is it's so easy to not make music. It's not like playing in the NFL or something where you right. have to show up for a season. Like, right. you can just chill and not make music for two or three years. Right. And you don't have to retire. It, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? saying. Now you don't. So it's not, in some so, cases, it builds more anticipation for yeah. your next album. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, so announcing retirement. And I remember is, that phase. I feel like there was a phase in hip hop where people were just announcing retirement for attention. Like mm-hmm. they weren't really retiring at all. Like they had a project drop months, months later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if that's the case today. I don't know if that's the case now when, like, it's too much going on. They're gonna, say, they're gonna say uh, we, um, well, they're gonna say I'm dick eating again. But was Jay the first person, the rapper, to do that? Uh, Announce to re- retirement. To retire? Yeah, like rap, uh, like it put it in the bars, like you guys would have to tell me. Probably, I think so. Was he? I can't think of anybody else that retired from rap. Well, Mace I, I retired before Hole. But even Mace didn't announce it. He just <laughs> he kinda, he did. He, he, kinda no, did. He, he did an interview. I remember that interview. It was on I'm talking about in the music, like rapping about oh, no, retirement. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, that was Jay's whole rollout to a degree, was the retirement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It worked. So it, it certainly worked. <laughs> um, but just to quickly go back on the Nikki thing, she's the only artist, I feel like, in Young Money, Cash Money that we don't really talk about her business dealings with Baby or anything that. Like, we've talked about Drake and him, him possibly getting fucked over there. We've talked about Wayne getting fucked over there. We've even talked about Tyga getting fucked over there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. For some reason, and I, I'm not even sure why, but we've never really brought up Nikki and her business. Maybe because it just looked like hers was doing so well that mm-hmm. it didn't matter. Right. That's a good point. No, I just I just pay women certain respect that I don't pay men. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's also especially, fair. Yeah, especially in this entertainment industry. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, those same questions that we had about the dudes, I I privately had about Nikki and 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 her affairs. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure she's been doing whatever internally to work it out. Yeah. What whatever it might be. Again, I don't know nothing about nothing. But uh back to y'all conversation, I don't necessarily assume because an artist is getting billions of streams that their business is intact and that they're well paid. That's true. Oh, of course not. Very true. Yeah, no, like, of course not. Like we, how, we know that for how, a fact. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How songs perform and, and how payouts are, are worked out. Yeah. Two totally two different totally things. Different things. We, uh, Especially in this area. Do we owe the management change two was two months ago? Two and a half months ago with Nikki uh uh Maybe a foreshadow. This was already in motion when the managerial things switched. Maybe her old management. I'm just speculating here. Right. Maybe did not want her to retire, and that was her way of saying, "Well, if you don't want me to retire, I'm probably going to find a new manager because I want to retire." Uh, or maybe it could be sense. she switched managers and then realized that things still weren't particularly getting better and said, "Fuck it." I think there's a plan here. Uh, I think she's just not retiring well, with I, a she, tweet out of nowhere. I think that she honestly really wants to start a family, and she probably has been wanting to take some time away from the the industry and the business for a while. And I think this is just that time for her. She's probably like, you know what? Let me step away for a few years and just focus on myself and my family. And yeah, I mean, listen, that's life, man. Like this, you know, you can't let this business consume. Yeah, especially when you made a lot of money. Well, I'm assuming she made a lot of money. Yeah, she made a lot of money. She yeah. made a lot of money. Yeah. 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 All right, we dick eating. Well, listen, <laughs> listen, Miss Minaj, hold up, man. Where's, where's the? Let me get back on the. Where's the fucking song at? There we go. Uh, I, w- I just want to. I want to thank you. I just want to say thank you. Uh, I don't even feel like that the the goodbye that we gave you here is sufficient enough for for what you've done. Uh, thank you for your journey. I don't want to get make it long and drawn out because I do think you'll be back at some point. Yeah, but uh. <clears throat> It's sad. It's not sad. 
I mean, because she, I, for me, Nikki, uh, again, she, she did it her way. She was herself. She, you know, she came out. She wasn't trying to do anything but be Nicki Minaj. You know what I mean? She paid homage to the, the female MCs before her. She, you know, saluted the, the female MCs of today. And she repped New York, man. So, I mean, I got to support her. I like people retiring on their, their own merit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Much better than I hearing mean, 40 more albums that you can tell you're not really into. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like, I like the John Elway retirement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who, who doesn't like the John Elway retirement, I'm yeah. saying, Rory. Of, of, I think it's great when people can go out on their own, even if he didn't win that Super Bowl. I'm going out. This is, this is it. I'm not going to get traded to three other teams and hang around for a while. Right. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just going to end my legacy on the time that I want to end it at. That's all. I, I like when that happens. Yeah. Oh, now I got to post our Nikki interview next Thursday for Throwback Thursday. <laughs> take take me back? <laughs> yeah, it's the last, her last interview. <laughs> so where, oh, where do the barbs go from here? Like, who do they support now? Who do they? Uh, her, her still. Lizzo? Uh, her. Yeah. Even no, in retirement. They, they, they continue to support the person they have been supporting. Uh, and that's what's beautiful about this shit. Like, I stopped rapping, but the people that support me support me mm-hmm. still. The people that were there for that journey, they're kind of there for this one along with uh, some new people that I've amassed along the way. I, I imagine the same thing would happen for her. That she's not dead, <laughs> right. right? Like she's not. She's here still. There's mm-hmm. still. There's still fans. Still fans of the old work. Uh, still fans of watching her. Uh, she's still a, a huge presence uh, socially online. Just wherever she goes, like you said uh, earlier, if she walked down the street, you know, mm-hmm. niggas, niggas, paparazzi's coming out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I want to congratulate Nick and just wish her well uh, on her future endeavors and whatever she has planned moving forward. Uh, let's continue with bad, more more sad news for Queens. Sad, sad day in Queens history here. Uh, Lloyd Banks sent out a tweet. And I'm surprised that I didn't see more people discussing this, but mm. I quickly favorited this tweet and was sad immediately. I'm sad just looking at it right now. Yeah, I don't even I don't even like staring at it. But somebody tweeted Lloyd Banks and said, Yo, Banks, I know us fans get out of hand and make all of these demands and at times are ungrateful, but are you gonna bless us true fans with one more body of work? Valid question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Worded properly. Very valid. Yeah. Uh and Banks replied. And not reply, retweeted which was telling to let's be real ain't nobody checking for banks anymore damn he's right i disagree shut up you just said you're surprised more people didn't hop on on what he said you know why they didn't because ain't because nobody checking rappers for banks. need a more dramatic exit like i just said for nick no it's that and banks is another one that deserves a better exit than that. I, I agree, but what I think what he was trying to say was, right now the shit that people are listening to, and what people want ain't what he is. That's I not, disagree, but I disagree not what he with is. that. Look at Griselda. Like Come you, just, on, you come yeah, in and play Griselda every week, but it's different yes. coming from it's different coming from new younger cats. Than it is coming from a veteran. Them niggas ain't young. Yeah, they about the same age uh, as right, Banks. Probably. Them either niggas way, ain't way, young. No, I, get, I get Maul's point. Yeah, they're, they're new. They're yeah. new. Yeah, is what I'm saying. They're new. So? So it's just when things, that's just how it and, is. And on, What's and new on top is of new. That, and on top of that, I'm not Banks, Banks doesn't have Derringer and Alchemist giving him a million I'm pretty sure. I was just about to say, if Banks got with Alchemist and put out a well, tape no, or Banks, Havoc Banks or... Banks' verse on Conway's shit was my favorite Banks verse in the last 10 years. Banks yeah. can still rap, but I think what he's trying to say is... At a high he, level. Yes. Right, but what he's yeah. trying to say by that t- in that tweet is, ain't nobody, it's not like people are really out here demanding that. Like, they don't... Like maybe but that, it would that be one welcome. fan did no. How I, how the fuck would he know? If you, what do you mean, how out. would he know? He would know. How would he know? Because you, you know what the artist knows when people in his when people are checking for him? That's a different question. I'm speaking about this artist in particular who is an anomaly in the fact that he won't put his head above the ground. He's very introverted. Well, yeah, yeah, he'll that's, he'll that's, go stay in the house for ten years. Well, and then that's how you lose so, momentum. So I don't that's how you think lose your know, fan base. You know what the temperature is on on. On uh, whether somebody's checking for his shit or not, I would be checking for a Lloyd Banks project. I just think that it makes sense. I would be checking for a Lloyd Banks project. Yeah, yeah, of, we course, can't, of course, of course, we all us. would. Like, yeah, we all would be checking for. I think I'm there's just, a lot of people. I'm just saying that he doesn't. I just don't understand it again because it's so easy to put out music today. Like even if Banks just puts out five, six, a six song project, it is, and so. Well, for, it. it is so nice. Banks easy has to put been. Out music. Pretty it is easy to put out music today. Then put out music. 
He wasn't putting out music when it was hard to put out music like that. I don't think it's not for no. Banks has been pretty consistent. He's been putting out mixtapes. When like, was the last time he put out a mixtape? A couple last, years ago. Last year. Yeah. I think it was two years ago, but still. Was that it's, the verse with Joe? No, it no, sadden, no, it saddens that. me. You know, I don't. I don't feel like no, even if you're right, Maul. Right. Even if you're right, I don't feel like an artist, rapper especially, should ever get to this point. It's almost our job to not ever get to this point. Remember a few weeks ago, I talked about this this stubbornness that just has to exist mm-hmm. for a creative to. Uh, be successful or or not you'll suc- or if not you'll succumb to the self doubt you'll succumb from the rumblings of the audience you you'll just succumb to a lot yeah. so you it's kind of our job to never feel like this so to see him say it to see him not only say it but to say it to someone who is who's asking for new music <laughs> right mm-hmm. it's telling it's telling uh it was fucked up it was fucked up to me and this is the one guy who you're never gonna think he's doing something for attention, or he's uh, uh, trolling, he's not doing nothing or he's clout chasing. Right? He's serious if he says it. So Nick retires. Banks basically reconfirms his retirement. Yo, Banks, go get some dope beats and rap again, man. It'll work. What? Yeah, It'll even work. if it's like five, six records. He always put yeah, out good I, projects too. So. No, nah, even. And we've had conversations about his projects of mature banks now, where he's not punchlining you to death. Like it's life experience in there. He's he's still very good at what he does. Yeah, and has changed his content. Well, he can he can rap better than half more than half of the niggas that's out here today. Facts. Let's, let's, I don't care how long he goes without I, I would, putting I would out a record. Way more. I would probably he put that in the eighty-five than, to ninety yeah, percent. That's a of, fact. Niggas that's charting. And it's depressing that the gentlemen who rap the best have to feel the worst. Well, that's again. That's because of the the, the audience. Because you're saying it's easy, right? To put out music in 2019, yes. Especially if you have a name like he. It's you know really what I'm yes, it is. No, all right. It's very easy to put out music. Mm-hmm. Back to what I just said to both of you niggas earlier. That has zero to do with how an artist is being paid from his music. True. Oh, I'm not. So talking why y'all telling me it's easy to put out? Music. We know it's easy to put because out because you have to put out music to gain some type of synergy, momentum. Get your name back out there. Let people hear your your music. But if you're an artist, I get that from the consumer standpoint. But if you're an artist and you are not incentivized to do that, then what gets you out of bed? Oh, then that's you. That's that's for him to answer. That's not on the consumers. That's what I'm saying. That's on the artist. That's on the person. That you is- gotta want to do it. Well, that that is what I'm saying. That 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 is that is my. But I can that, see that why he my, don't want to do that it. That is my retort to yeah. you saying, "Oh no, it's mad easy, but I'm using." No, everybody's not running around feeling like that. I'm sure Lloyd Banks can make a two pack in his sleep. Yeah. What the fuck does it do for him? I well, mean, if you well, do the right, right project with the right producer, then it would do a lot for him. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a whole I mean, lot of. Ifs. A, I mean, that's not a whole lot of. But ifs. I think I'm, no, I think when Banks really it sits beats down, what he's doing right now. Well, we I don't. Try know. Some we shit. don't right? I don't. I don't know that yeah. musically. What is he doing right well, now? Not, well, yeah, well, what? Uh, what? No, I'm talking about for for his inner happiness. No, I'm t- okay now. Him I, be- I can't say him being happy or depressed. I don't know. I don't know Banks like that. I don't know if he's in the mood to make music. If he's not in the mood, well, he clearly ain't in the mood. I'm just saying. Yeah. But, but he said that fans ain't checking for him, and I'm saying the way that you get fans or, or people to check for you is you put you throw your shit out there, you throw some fire out there, like, like oh, this nigga Banks is still in shape. This niggas put out a bomb. Niggas gonna start coming back. They gonna start checking for it. You can't shut the block down and think the fiends are still gonna line up. It don't happen like that. Nigga, you gotta get some samples out. Let niggas know you still got that butter. I yo, know, I do agree with Maul that I so think you gotta put a single Banks, out. No, no, he don't. I think no, he's <laughs> no, 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 so, so, so that's, no, 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 no. Everything he you has just to put said, a project. It, everything you just said. No, no he, he has the to purpose a, of no, no, artists. No, he has to put a project out. No, he has to put a project. Just let him know I still got that butters. Let him know the block is still hot. He got to put. He got to put a project out. To some artists, the single wouldn't be there. I think Banks, if he did some freestyle Friday that was in video form consistently for about a month just to get people back to like, all right, Banks is there. Because when Banks sits down and does albums, Banks has hits with yeah. or without G-Unit. Facts. Like Hunger for More 2 was at 2011. Mm-hmm. He like four yeah. hit records on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when he sits down and really gets an album mode, which he doesn't do very often at all, especially now, he delivers. I just don't know if he wants to deliver that way anymore. But I could see why artists like Banks would be discouraged in his climate, though, because the business has changed so much. I and there's argue, so many, there's so many other little games you got to play 
around the industry, like as far as like with the social media shit, he's obviously not a social media guy. And now it's all about clickbait. Like it's Man, all about. But you don't have to do that, especially for someone that raps really well. I nah, would that's argue not true. You gotta play the game. I would argue it's not just Banks. And I would challenge y'all to tell me how many veteran albums are just dropping frequently. Um, there's still quite a bit. But that's, quite a bit but, of veteran rap albums to, well, drop, veteran. that drop frequently? Define um, veteran, because I'd well, i start to put, in this era, Drake is a veteran at, at well, this point. Well, he is. Drake is, is yeah. A, yeah. It's a veteran at any point. Yeah. Ten, ten years, you're a vet. That's a vet. Yeah. Then, yeah, they, I mean, the big three, the vets, they come out. One, Not once frequently. A year. Once, a, once year. a year. Drake don't drop once a year. Cole don't drop once year, a year. Year and a half, two years at year, max. Year, a, year and max. A, year, a year and a half in yeah, the microwave if, streaming era. That's like two years. But yeah, even but if they're they not don't, those artists that need to do that, that's why. But even if they, they don't drop do projects, it, they do it. even if they don't drop their projects, they're active. They on somebody's record. They on somebody's album. They on somebody's like, it's not yeah, their I shit. Mean, Cole did a but year their voice is still out there. Their work is still visible. With Banks, it's like. That's not the point of what I'm saying. Yes, features, they're going to be visible. You need those bigger artists in the ecosystem to kind of keep everything afloat. So when they do a feature on the new niggas artist, that's kind of, I mean, on a new artist record, that's kind of still my point. Most of the veterans are not just running around saying, oh, it's easy, I'm putting it out. Like, there's some type of uh, turmoil, and I won't say turmoil, but something behind the scenes or being hidden with most of the veterans. Like what though? What do you think? Because I think it's easy for somebody like Banks I think it's to get with a hot producer and put out a well, six Banks, song well, EP on well, SoundCloud. Well, in yeah. the conversation I'm having right now, Banks will be a dinosaur. So mm-hmm. it's probably yeah. a bit harder when you get in your dinosaur think tank to say, okay, I've been absent for X amount of time. I need to do X, Y, Z. Exactly what you was just saying. Uh, when the the more you've been absent, the the more discouraging that that let me get the block hot mm-hmm. feel mm-hmm. is. It's like, all right, we got to do a lot now. I put mixtape out. I mean, we got to put another mixtape out, put an EP out. I got to fucking show and, my face And not somewhere. only that, you don't even I know what fucking, the block like anymore. I got to put a video out. I got to see what the sound is. Yeah, exactly. I gotta, you got, it's, a lot, it's a lot of research you got to do to jump back out there. But my thing is now, if Banks gets with a, a producer, a hot producer, we, may, we don't, he doesn't even have to have, have a name. He got a dope sound. Banks found him. Put six, seven songs together. Put it on SoundCloud. Let the fan base, your fan base, talk about it, spread it. That's yeah. how you get shit moving again. If Lloyd Banks put his put an album out on Empire, he would not retire. Agreed. Mm. Word. No, not, let me not say that because he could be retiring for his happiness, but he wouldn't be. He wouldn't tweet that. Exactly. What I'm saying. He wouldn't say, "Oh man, come on, be for real. You niggas ain't checking for me." It's, I don't know why artists feel and, like you need a million people checking for you to. Well, I, so, I was going to say, do you it, think yeah. all of this is a byproduct of being part of such a successful franchise with G Unit? Absolutely. And so now his expectations are absolutely. if it's not yeah. chart topping. Uh, absolutely. You can't no go from performing form in the garden into performing in BB King. That's like, exactly what I did, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> right. I had a blast. <laughs> right. Like, like sometimes you, 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 uh, sometimes you're not mad at the trickle down effect, depending, continuing upon how high up you were. G Unit was the top. Yeah. So. What do we? How? How? how, how where do y'all want to rate the fall off? Like they, he could fall and at the bottom still have a pretty good career. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because yeah. that's and, how many people they were uh, uh, visible to. And mm-hmm. and the trickle down, if you want to call it that, or for example, the garden to BB Kings or whatever. the trickle down. I, I f- think no. I think you now. I know exactly who my. It's tangible. I know exactly who's here to see me. Yeah, and not this. Monster collective I was a part of, and right. that and and that's what I loved about going from like you said the guard or what did you say the garden to BB Kings. You give give a nigga one shot at the big audience, which for me was Pump It Up, first album, Def Jam, uh, all of this money, great. How many albums did we sell? Fucking four hundred and ninety thousand albums, cool. So now when I'm beefing with the label and I have to move on, and the money is not being dumped into me, and everybody's confused. Oh, what's happening to Joe? They don't know the money's not being dumped. But no. it's like, okay, I, I have 500,000 people. That was mine. Mm-hmm. I only got one shot. I have 500,000 niggas to talk to. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Move, move music. Hey, whoever's coming from that, they just stayed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. I wasn't crying saying, oh, man, where's these other niggas? Yeah. I was saying, all right, we out now. Right. And I think Banks is capable of the same... 
I think well, Banks, well, I Banks, think is, Banks I, is an elite fucking can, musician. You know what I'm saying? That will clear. always be valuable. Banks can go on tour right now in Europe. He, uh, I saw him at Highline. It, it wasn't the 10 year of, of Hunger for More. It was like a year before that. I saw him at Highline. Highline was packed. Yeah. Like packed. Well, pack. You know when Highline be like, he can go to Europe. Pack. He can yeah. go to Europe and pack out venues. Well, that's what I was going to say. Banks could do four shows in the US and kill in Europe. Absolutely. At a good size. Absolutely. Good, good size venue. Absolutely. But that's what acts like him have that luxury for the rest of their life they could just tour in Europe and be fine but Banks is someone that don't want to leave his house well again I mean you can't which I, mean, I think has hindered the, the part of finding a dope producer or getting in with people Banks will record at his house all day right mm-hmm. and only want the people that he likes and trusts to be next to him okay well I mean I would like to hear more Lloyd Banks I think this would be the perfect this time this one just saddens me that's all yeah. this would be the perfect time even though it's not going to happen because they're not getting along and it's funny. A, a nice, a nice G Unit project, oh, right now with the three of them. Rory knock it off. Would be great. Just think it's a perfect time for it. Banks could, Banks could put out some music right now. He could put a project out right now. Niggas will love it. Yeah. Because he's that good at what he does. Mm. And go get that Europe money. Go on tour. Or just hit the road. Fucking get nice little checks from Empire and do it a couple times a year or the, the, once a year. The energy you give off, man. The energy you give off is so important. I would feel totally different about this retirement if he did. If he didn't tweet, come on, man, you niggas ain't fucking with me. Mm-hmm. Like, if he tweeted, yo, I know I said it before, but I just want to, I'm really done, y'all. Like, don't expect no me. If he would have told the fan, yeah, like I tell my fans, mm-hmm. right. I should, that's your day. Don't get it. No hope. Ain't happening. Nope. <laughs> so you either going to rock with what I'm doing or you know that, hey, that's not coming. I don't want to mislead anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he would have just worked, said this a little differently, I would be championing I would be championing him. But the fact that it sounds, he sounds defeated. so discouraged, yeah. he sounds defeated, he sounds like he don't really know his, you know what I mean? Come on, man. It's fucking banks. And this is where I get mad at me being so passionate about hip-hop because it's fucked up out there. Oh yeah. yeah, it's fucked up. So but if that, you that, love I, this nigga, yeah, but that has re- that has I think that plays on his mindset and his 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 emotion behind that tweet is that he know it's fucked up out here. He I, he probably just don't want to be a part of this shit that's going on. Well, he been ain't want to be a part. Yeah, of Yeah, so that, <laughs> now more than ever for sure, because now it's just a whole bunch of fuck shit going on. Niggas I mean, t shirts is being counted as a uh, album sale. Like, well, why I found that tweet so interesting? Go back to the tweet, Scream Man. He. Oh, that was fast, Scream Man. <laughs> The person, the person was saying, "Your true fans, one more." He has a core group, a 100%. good amount of true fans. Hundred percent. So then, when he replied back, "With ain't nobody checking for banks anymore," now I'm thinking you're more focused on other fans or the fans you've lost that were more just there for the popularity and love of the hit records. Beg for mercy, yeah, I smell yeah. pussy. Like, and that, and that's why you know what niggas clown me my whole career for not having a hit record or not having more hit records. I never wanted one. I never wanted another one. Because it was just going to bring more fickle mm-hmm. fans. It's not a true test. It's, 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 like, it's like cloud chasing. It's like you do some wild shit on the internet. You see a huge spike. Niggas ain't coming back the next week. Right. No. That's why I laugh this, at those people. Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's going to be sad. <laughs> y'all want to continue. What's the Queen's please? version of Outstanding that we can play? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking to the top. Joe wasn't even outside. Here we go, like, I hate when he plays shit and be acting like he was really out there. No, I was in the studio writing rhymes, dissing him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. I'm telling you, I, when I heard niggas that was nice, I went outside. <laughs> I didn't hide, nigga. This is when nobody would say a word to him but Joe. You was outside, so act like you remember. I was outside. <laughs> I was definitely outside for sure. <laughs> Never even heard of you niggas. <laughs> Rory has to say nigga if he sings this in his house. <laughs> <laughs> How does somebody like this just stop?
Yeah, Ma, I'm sick of your hypocrisy. You cannot be so big on Griselda and then sound down on Lloyd Banks. You gonna watch your... No, just shut the fuck up. How was I, how <laughs> no, was I no, sound no. a lot? For real, no, honestly. How I'm, was I'm, I sounding I'm down si- on Banks? I'm, I'm sick of your favoritism with how certain was, niggas. How was I sounding down on Banks? You don't sound like you would sound with the niggas that you sound like I when you like... I fuck with Banks. What you mean? I fuck with him, but I understand you, you why he that, feel the way you, you feel. You notice you've never had to come in here and say, yo, I fuck with Conway. What you mean? Because I didn't play. Because I didn't play a Banks record. I'm done with you. Banks ain't putting nothing out. Oh man, come on, man! How old was Rory? Nine. <laughs> this came out. Yeah, nine. Yeah. It was not nine when this. I came didn't out. say that. <laughs> Park said that. The ball said I agree. Like, it outside like, when this 15, came 15, out. 14? I know, but I always fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, yeah, nah, nine, fourteen. Nine, same nine, thing. Nah, that's, outside. Nah, that's, yeah, that's nah, outside. Nah, fourteen is outside. Yeah, you outside of fourteen. I was outside of nine. I'm robbing niggas at fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Wallace and Shakur. God damn it. He ain't going to do that again. I can't believe you think I don't fuck with Banks. <laughs> this nigga Joe is crazy. That's not what I was saying. And that's not what I said. Don't put words in my mouth. I can't talk about him if he's not putting out work. Like, what you want me to say? I want you to listen to this. Yo, every few years, Sky Zoo will do something Sky Zoo-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sky. Pete. Maul, have you heard this? This came out today. I heard it. You did hear it, right? Mm-hmm. What are you, if I knew you heard it, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Parsh heard this? Yeah. I knew you heard it, you too. You know I heard it. Rory heard this? Of course. Sky is my dude. Y'all are such backpackers. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. Sky and Pete, I'm in. Conway, I'm in. <laughs> Enough said. This is a mean. Uh, this is a mean lineup. Yeah. He's Benny, doing a whole. He's doing a whole album with Pete. Benny Westside, Sky Conway, yeah. Pete Rock, Sky Zoo, and Elzai. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of rapping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yo, he said that. I swear to you, I got up and just walked around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, oh, uh, see, I could have said that. Am I coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I could have nah, said that. Nah, for real. Right. That is a fucking... Line, mm-hmm. yeah, that's a bar. That's craziness. He knew Elza was on this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta ask, like, you who knew, else was on this? Yeah, you know why I like <laughs> these niggas? Cause, cause they sound like I ain't asking who on the song, and I don't care who on the song. I'm doing put them on, the, yeah, yeah. on the song. That's why I want to. Hey, when you start in your <laughs> tape, you start in your tape with a feature from Black Thought. You don't give a fuck who's on. That's the a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're pretty comfortable with your ability. Yeah. And I don't think these niggas been outshined yet. No, nah, not really. Nah. They haven't. Oh, I need to get on the slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I want to hear what it sounds like. I do too. Yeah, me too. I would want to hear I wanna I hit wonder them. if that would be a weird mix. I want to hear nope. them and these niggas. Why do you think it'd be a weird mix? Because I don't know. 
I wouldn't be at all. Nah, they fit in with all of that slaughterhouse locks, fucking that mob, all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat>
There's great people who believe you. Y'all just seen that nigga in front of Papaya's playing the sax. The funny Papaya. shit, if I was in front of Papaya's playing the sax, no one would take it as odds. Like, right, look at Joe. <laughs> He's in he his bag out, right he now. Here tripping, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he out here tripping. He in his bag. He's in his sax bag now. Oh, Joe on them pills again. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, I was just about to get two hot dogs and a lemonade. Let me walk over there. <laughs> Yo. You got the case out with tips. Niggas going to walk by. I just heard Joe say he liked the sax on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Took that shit to the next level on him. Playing the flute, just walking around the air. That's that is, fire. That's fucking hilarious. Man, I think that's a clarinet. How'd you get for that through TSA? Worth. But flute's better. A yeah, clarinet flute. That's not even a real flute. No, that's a clarinet. I think. Oh, it wait. looks more. It looks more clarinetist. Whatever it is, he's retired. <laughs> that's fire. Fan, anyone that that actually buckles that shit on the backpack yeah. is retired. And yeah. when you get on a plane, <laughs> when you get on a plane with a flight suit. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole way zip up Just shit. in case Yeah it's a Just commercial flight <laughs> He's retired That might be a Yo, parachute every, Now that I think about that, it Everyone from that era Chappelle him They be getting their onesie shit off he's Like all the time He's definitely wearing A skydiving outfit That's a parachute <laughs> Listen, I think that's man. a parachute On his back When you retire You pick up weird hobbies Maybe he picked up Like flying planes Or jumping out of them like what? So he's just always prepared That's a good point I'm Like what is Banks About to do now In retirement He's gotta learn the flute He's got all the, all the sax He looks like a piano guy to me you can't walk around with the piano though. Yeah. No, nah, get a little keyboard. Nah, eh, it's not the same. Nah, Banks might play the guitar. Yeah, I can see. Banks it. play the bass. He's quiet and cool. Yeah. He definitely plays the bass. Bass guitar. I'm gonna fuck the game up with like the xylophone or something. You look like <laughs> a, you look like a sitar man. Sitar. That's really hard. That's 21 strings, bro. That's not. <laughs> Take some dexterity. What is the sitar? Uh, big droney. Oh, that's my shit. The sitar. How, how go again? Stars is hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's my shit. No, that's hard. The sitar. <laughs> the sitar. <laughs> the sitar is fire. Ah, the sitar. <laughs> Yo, you're hating now. <laughs> Look at the sitar. At the, the sitar. Joe will play the sitar. That's you, Joe. That Definitely. looks great. A hookah and a sitar. Yeah, that looks yeah. like a hookah. <laughs> that shit is crazy hard. The Smoking out the sitar. I'll smoke a beat off the sitar. <laughs> Yo, who invented the sitar? It's Indian. Yeah. Gotta be. It is. That shit look, definitely look like a, a coffee table, ashtray, and a hookah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when this beat was on, back to this Sky Zoo shit, like, I knew I needed some work. Like, my opening... <laughs> it's opening... The open at the words I chose to rhyme it in the opening, it, 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 they it, wasn't... Yeah, it, it, it's it, it, been it, a while. <laughs> no, it was... Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, quantifiable. Oh, did you definitely got to start over? That's nah, the word no, you came no, in no, with? because I came right back with, Mama lied to you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see what you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah, no, nah, we back, we back, we back. <laughs> I see where he's going. Yeah, I see where he's going. Is this a wild and out challenge? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 quantifiable. Quantifiable, uh, I, Mama lied to you? I, I, it was coming back. Anytime Mama lied to you, I'm like, yo, this nigga, this nigga is nice. Yeah, this nigga is nice. Or your teachers, if yeah. your teachers did some shit to you. Yeah, yeah Mama lied yeah. to you. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm, yeah, you right I'm, back. I'm nah, you, you. you might be in shape. You might be in shape. <laughs> Mo is such an idiot. <laughs> you might, you mama qual- lied to you off quantifiable? Yeah. You got me. I'm listening. I'm telling you. I'm listening. That was my problem. These rapping niggas started rapping, and I said quantifiable. I said, that is a trash. That is a trash. Uh, way to start and she had to oh. make up for then it then I said whoa yeah. oh, oh, so many what, ways what if, what if a mother lied oh. Yeah. oh then after that homicide was coming <laughs> it was it was crazy in the kitchen <laughs> they, they quantified the homicide oh man Rory, it, was, it was crazy it was crazy in the it kitchen it was a it was a it was a massacre it was, in that it kitchen was crazy. when you come out of retirement I'm wooing at lips <laughs> Yo, y'all, y'all, I'm taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not That's doing what... this with y'all. Funny shit, that shit got button fans. Hi. <laughs> yeah, <it> work. <laughs> oh, what mama lied about? You <laughs> <laughs> start tweeting, Miss Faye. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> what did you say to him? <laughs> <laughs> Keep <laughs> saying it. <laughs> what did you <laughs> tell him? Tweeting someone's mom. <laughs> What's yeah. the rest of the story? <laughs> need to hear it. Now, nah, but after the LZI verse that you played, I understand why he started with quantinu- quant- quantifiable. He started with Quasar, so you had to out-cue him. Yeah. Listen, I, I knew you joking, but when rapidy rapping niggas start rapping, yeah, uh, how you yeah, open how, how you coming on, my G? Yeah. You gotta go a little further down the alphabet. Yeah. Certain niggas on the track. <laughs> Actually, little key moments like those separate the verse when you on a verse on when you on a track with just a bunch of niggas that can rap. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like how you coming on? Let me hear it. Right. 
Do you have a hook in your verse somewhere? Right. Uh, did you change the flow? Did you did you start sing songy something like when everybody can rap? It's yeah. like all right now what <laughs> now what we doing? Right. Um, well, y'all was winning song. Grammys. I was popping Zannies. Joe, don't get into your Grammy <laughs> Zanny bag. Fam, <laughs> Grammy, Grammy panties. Yeah. Oh, I'm all joking. That's what the game need a Joe Zanny verse. <laughs> the, the game don't need that. Though. You bugging? <laughs> no, the game don't. Need that. Trust what, me, the game the, is okay. The what, game is okay without the Zanny. It's not like, crazy. I one verse, but that's my. But that's what the, I, I said without the Zanny the verse. The second, now without a verse from you. The second that Benny come and say, I said, Zanny's on the block. I said, Grammy's on the clock. <laughs> you gonna be like, oh, nah. sleeper of I the said, year. <laughs> sleeper of the year. I said, we got. <laughs> tough crowd master. Like you gonna just start going crazy. <laughs> don't do that. Tough, tough crowd master. Don't, do, don't, just, don't just start throwing it. Don't just start throwing my shit on T-A-B-J. We play. You know how we play every day. Don't let Maul get started. All right, never mind. See, see, that's why I can't see nothing, baby. All right, but never mind. But go ahead, man. Oh, man. Um, let me see. What's my phone at? What do y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about now? God damn it. Y'all want to talk about Kevin Hart and his lies? Or <laughs> you wanna... oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you sure? We did it about Juicy Smollet. What did Dave Chappelle call him? <laughs> Juicy, <laughs> Juicy Smollier. Juicy Smo- Smolly. Smollier. All right, who wants to, who wants to t- tackle this one head on? <laughs> something we can go right. the ledge together. All right, come on. Embrace debate. <laughs> yeah, some, something ain't right. Something funny, man. Something going on. Something you're, fishy about this whole story. You don't believe you're not rolling? I mean, I, I, I'm praying he's okay. I know he was re- really hurt. Yeah, but it's they say like he broke it's, a couple back wounds or some shit, right? I just don't understand him going home <sighs> before going to the hospital. Like, I just don't understand that. Yeah. And uh, then that 911 call that came out, she said well, it was 20 minutes away from the house. Drinking. It was further from the house. Because I did that once. I crashed the car. I went home. Swag. Yeah. So they can I hit mean, you with the DWI. Whatever it is, it's something. <laughs> Go home it's and sober something up deeper. A quick. It's something. There's something going on here. Yeah, there's something. There's a cover up going I, on. I think I'm kind of rolling with Parks on this. There's a cover. He might have had a couple I, drinks. I think, well, I think he might have been driving. I think his man's was in the whip. His man's was all right. He was hurt. He was drunk. Got out of there. His man's was like, "Yo, I was driving." Yeah, there's something going on though. Something yeah. funny about this whole story though, for sure. I'm calling it now. Or shorty. Don't you have to find a more political way to express this opinion? I mean, a more politically correct way. Nothing makes sense. If I'm in a, if I'm severely hurt in a car accident, I'm not going home first. That's just common. That's just a common. Get me to the hospital. Maul, I'm man. fucked up. Maul, what I'm saying is, no, I feel you, but you have to present it just in a more sensitive way. I think. <laughs> Use but your st- gentle voice, but still say that the nigga lying. But <laughs> somebody's lying. <laughs> Is that sensitive enough? <laughs> Something just ain't right. Mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sensitive political. No, this is something. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yo, now I, I'll be honest with y'all. I I was I wrote I wrote this down that something just ain't right. And I thought I was coming in here to stand on the ledge alone just because I didn't think y'all was ready for that type of action. But I was only ready to speak about it until I heard he was when he was okay. He's all right. He's good. He's fine. This now we can be like, okay, what the fuck? Now happened? that Kevin Hart is all right. And Kevin Hart, we love you. Absolutely. We love you. We, do. we are so glad that you are okay. Uh, you are so important to just uh, the culture and just everything going on. Uh, but come on, man. <laughs> what happened? What happened, man? Tell us. Man. Listen, I was watching the news this morning, and it's more details are emerging in the Kevin Hart story. We have the the nine the nine one one call from his wife after he went home after the accident, mm. and she called nine one one and said, oh, "Okay, <laughs> how far was his career from the accident?" I, I, they said, I wouldn't give a fuck. He made it home. The, not, they, the 911 call said it was 20 minutes away. The actual crash site was more there? than 20 minutes away. How did he get home? Yes. Somebody from his security team came, picked him up. Picked him up. Mm-hmm. With a hurt back. Yeah. Yeah, but so all of that, you know, I'm in my head, like, okay, I'm listening. But then I listened to the wife's 911 call, and she sounds <laughs> she sound like she ain't really, I mean. She wasn't crying. 
She didn't sound like she was. She like, sounded like, yeah, I don't really know what happened, but uh this nigga in here with his spine hanging out his back. He he hurt, trust me. I'm I'm waiting for him to get get well too. Yeah. Yeah. Not even him to wake up. So yeah, I have some questions. Yeah, yeah. No, yo, every man can identify a woman's voice when eh, you know. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. But uh we got some things to talk yeah, about. We're going to get him yeah. to the hospital right now, but... Yeah, you got to make sure you're alive, yeah, right. but you about to get it. And yeah. that's how her voice sounded on the call to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, then they showed the actual vehicle not smashed up. Yeah, yeah. I think he posted a picture earlier that day. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Smooth, yeah. smooth. Yeah. Um, and that was telling to me, because I said, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ain't no real nigga putting a whole man in the backseat of this car. <clears throat> no. It's not happening. I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Sorry. That, that's just me. I ain't telling y'all what to believe. No, I, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm telling you that I do not believe that Kevin Hart had this gentleman in the backseat of that car. <laughs> no. Or the front seat for that matter. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, yeah. It did look like Kevin got some money. He, could, he could afford uh, this, this bigger vehicles available. I mean, regardless of that, that car was that it was flat. No, no, no. We talking about flat. as far as putting somebody in, saying somebody was in the backseat of and that car. And the other car. two people didn't have any injuries, right? What other two people that they said allegedly oh, were in the car? Oh, you don't mind what they said. Are you? Yeah, they no, did. They, no, they got away scot free. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. What they I'm said there was two other people in the car. That's what I'm getting at. That car was fucked up. Yeah, that car. And it was, was a convertible. Up. Yeah. And they was like just sitting there, like, damn, that was crazy, surrounded by this, just this mashed up shit. Bruh. <laughs> you think we're the only people that look at that story like, all right. Mm, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the only ones that said it so far, but. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We ain't never going to find out nothing that no, happened. No. We'll never know. If we can't find out who the fuck Terrence J was in the car with, <laughs> <laughs> then how the fuck are we ever going to find out what's going on with Kev? If Terrence J got enough money to hush Hollywood. <laughs> hush Hollywood. <laughs> what? That's what he did. He hushed Hollywood. And they don't even ask him about it anymore. Not at all. He of just said, not. hey, E.T. TJ here. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Whoa. Stay what? tuned after the show for the power kickback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't just say, no, no, nah, we're not nah, kicking nah. back with yeah, power, yeah, TJ. Yeah, yeah, no, we need we to know questions. something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think we're ever going to find out. Kevin got too much money. Mm-hmm. He got too much money. I'm sure his wife will get to the bottom of it at home. Oh yeah, and yeah. That's the and end of that. Glad he's okay. And of course, we're glad he's okay. First I'm and saying, foremost, we're yes. saying all of this as re- out, as respectful as didn't we didn't want to speak on it until we knew he was okay. One hundred percent. And just more will be revealed. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> more, more will be. Or revealed. not. <laughs> well, no, because the cops ain't gonna stop. Well, that's true. The cops ain't gonna stop. That's true. They gonna keep going. Like, hey, wait a second now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something tells me the Malibu police have. Stayed quiet about a lot of things. I'm sure. I'm <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't think they're really going to investigate this. Yeah, nah. Yeah, if I have Kevin Hart money, I could hush hush uh, Malibu. To, yeah, I, I'm sure they, they hushed a lot. That much with a quick year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the year will hit different when you live like a billionaire. Yeah, it's a much different. <laughs> a lot more arms. Um, shout out to Kev. Yeah, yeah. And glad he's all right. Look forward to seeing him. Uh, well, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Did you guys watch the shop with Kev on it? Ah, look at Parks. With Segway. Us. Killing the seg. Segway Prince. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Par, I watched it with you. Did you have any takeaways? Before the podcast started. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I don't know why I asked you, but. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at me. Uh, did I have any takeaways? Uh, well, well, tell, tell the people what happened on the shop. If they it was see it. Kevin Love and Lil Nas X and Kevin Hart. And okay. uh, who else was Charlemagne there? Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne was there. Yep. His anxiety. They talked a lot about anxiety. His anxiety t-shirt. Yeah, Kevin Hart had some anxiety, or uh, Kevin Love had some anxiety as well, apparently. Maverick okay. Carter. Maverick Carter, of um, course. LeBron had a game, always offseason. LeBron was busy, Taco Tuesday, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How you copyright Taco Tuesday? The arrogance Tuesday? of a nigga to copyright Taco Tuesday. No, I the get fact that it was every Tuesday. Huh? The fact that it wasn't copywritten. No one's copywriting that. LeBron, taco was a popular food, and it still is. <laughs> and Tuesday was always a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas just doing whatever at this point. Word. My copyright Taco Tuesday. I want to kill Wing Wednesday. He is the best player in the league. Give him Taco Tuesday, man. (laughs) Yeah. He's a a taco historian? 
That's some real LA shit though. The moves to LA. Taco Tuesday. What you say, Roy? That's some real LA shit. Moves to LA and then Taco Tuesday once in Cleveland or once in Miami. Yeah. Well, they don't have that many tacos in Cleveland. I wouldn't need a taco. I wouldn't need a taco. I've actually had good tacos in Cleveland, believe it or not. But really? Yeah. Taco to me is like identifiable. Like I had good tacos in Cleveland, believe it or not. But really? Yeah. Taco to me is like identifiable with a great time, and Cleveland to me is identifiable with work. Joakim Noah gave us that whole rundown. He let us know exactly what's in, in Cleveland. What do you say? He said, nobody wants to go to Cleveland. I don't do that to Cleveland. Yeah. How y'all feel about when you find a joint like in that off spot? like The off cities? Yeah. In Wichita? Yeah. Like, what yeah, you yeah. still do? Niggas Don't love finding you? a chick in a low city like she ain't a hoe too. Like, nigga, she a hoe too. Yeah, but she <laughs> home with whack niggas out there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bring it to the light. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, come really come meet char- Fab and Drake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, what, see what her character <laughs> like. Come meet me and Trey Song. Yeah, yeah. Come meet Rory. Yeah. 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 Sure. Come meet Rory. If I see another picture of Rory, Chris Dowles, and Hov. It's the same picture, isn't it? Yeah, what are you I, talking about? I don't want to see it again. Okay. You didn't, well, like it. It'll disappear from your algorithm once you mm. like it. See, there you go. Oh, is that the key? Yeah, yeah that, that works. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't want to like it. No. <laughs> we, know, we, we know you didn't want to like it. Uh, where do we go from here? Mm-mm-mm. Where do we go from here? Y'all moms wasn't playing this shit. Y'all don't want to talk about the, uh, the comments he made? No? Nope. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, who, Kevin? Yeah. All right, they was killing Kevin Hart for one thing, and I was home <laughs> connecting the dots on something totally different with Kevin Hart. But all right, let's stay here. Kevin Hart, they were killing Kevin Hart because on the latest episode of The Shop, I uh, forgot who that gentleman was that asked Lil Nas X why he decided to come out at the time that he did. It sounded like a really genuine question from, pardon me, from the gentleman that asked. Uh, and then Kev said, what did Kev say? He said he was gay, so what? He said, so what? And that was all they needed. That was all they needed to kill him uh, about his insensitivity and lack of understanding as to why uh, a homosexual man would have reservations about coming out of the closet. And I got that. Yeah. I, I, I totally understand that point. Uh, it's absolutely correct. Uh, it was a little <clears throat> insensitive, especially from the gentleman who has a little bit of experience with pissing off a certain crowd. Yeah. All right. Well, do you think Kev meant he is so fine and comfortable and doesn't think gay people are a bad thing at all? And it's I just think that's to say, what I think like, that's what Kev So meant. what? You're gay. Like we I all. I think so too. I think we're, that's what we're Kev cool meant. with that. I, and I, th- I, feel, I think a lot of people feel that way. But I don't think that was the <clears throat> source of people being upset. I think that Little Nas explained it. He's like, from where I'm from, it is a like it's, be, a it's frowned deal. upon. Yeah, it's yeah. a big deal. And so. he said, if you're from where you say you're from, then you totally understand. Yeah. Yeah, but my thing with the whole, you know, coming out and saying you're gay, I just don't, I can understand what Kev is saying. It's kind of like, it's 2019. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's 2019. It's like, it, yes, people are gay. Like, yes. I don't think that the world should not still be at a place where you have to announce that you're gay. That, is, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Unfortunately, people we still are gay. Are, that's yeah. where the world is. The, and then that the makes world, no sense. Yeah, but it has to make sense because the world has never been in a more radical place than it's been today. Yeah, right. So, no, nah, I, don't, I don't believe that. Well, it's been a long time since it's been this radical. Maybe. And, and polarized. Maybe. And, yes, yeah. maybe. But, I mean, if people are still frowning upon people and their sexuality... It's just, it's just stupid. No, yeah, no, no. Sad. You're, you're yeah. absolutely right there, but they are. They yeah, are. no, I'm, I'm sure they are. And, and especially and, in places not like New York or L.A. or places that we are at frequently, like mm-hmm. in the middle of the country, yeah. it's not as uh, accommodating for people of, you, of that preference. And, and you're absolutely right. But you and you say in the middle of the country, but again, as somebody who watches the news daily in New York. It's rampant. That's true. Like, it's niggas just going in the gay bars and shooting shit up. Starting fights, uh, whatever, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been all types of uh, uh, gay hate crimes over the past however many years in New York, in the places that the gays kind of run. So right. it's like, mm-hmm. damn, if we got to get attacked on Christopher Street, my nigga, like, we can't right. party here. Right. Yeah. Like, come on, come on. And, and when you speak as if you don't understand that, when you speak as if you don't understand any, any plight of the... Anybody who's oppressed, whether yeah. it be the gays, the blacks, women, 
this is just not the time to speak as if you don't understand. Even if you don't understand, I guess. Yeah, but, I but that's, see, I don't see, I don't, but I don't agree with that. But that's because you, if you can't project doesn't know, your your uh, feelings on what other people feel. You no, know what I'm saying? Because I, you're I'm comfortable saying if with people somebody, being, if somebody doesn't know. Yeah. If somebody doesn't know that there are places in the world where people are still frowning upon someone's sexuality. Yeah. What's wrong with them not knowing that? Like Kevin may not think that there's places it's like because it's everywhere now. Like people are gay, yes. Yeah, so what? Let people be gay. Let them love who they love. Like what is the what is the so I can understand what Kevin is saying, like, but why do you feel like you need to announce it? It doesn't matter. Like we only here we don't care if you're gay, all right. No, we you still look that we cool, like everything's all right. It doesn't we don't care about what your sexuality is. Right. So Kev may feel like as a straight, I can't believe there's people in the world that would still care about someone's sexuality. As a yeah. as a straight nigga watching it, I, I was a little uncomfortable with and I don't know, maybe it was the editing. I don't know, yeah. but the way the room stopped, <laughs> like the room stopped yeah. Yeah. and looked at him like, like, man, it's a kid. <laughs> I yeah. get he's tall. but <laughs> And rich. <laughs> he's tall, he's rich, a lot of success, but he is still a kid. Yeah. He, he, and that's, he, a, that's probably a very big deal at 18 years old to go out on that ledge and announce your sexual preference. Whatever. Still, a kid. still, yeah, 20, still, 20 years yeah. old. Yeah, yeah. are you twenty years I'm, old? I'm pretty sure it's difficult at any point in life, but especially if you're, you know, fresh out of high school type shit, like all that. I just don't well, understand that how people still look yeah. at that and are shocked. I agree, man. Like sexuality, being gay, straight, it's everywhere now. You turn on every show on cable television. There's gay kids. There's straight kids. It's like, yeah, yo, that, it doesn't. But I that, agree. To the to that point, that sometimes angers people that hate gays more. True. Yeah. That now that it's it's out, it's everywhere. It's accepted. I like, do. I, now, listen, I understand there's people that are that hate people because of their sexuality. I'm not ignorant. Yeah, I don't. To that. Th- yeah. I don't think you're saying that. Well, what I'm saying is people because of any, anything or anything, right? right. But yeah. it's but it's like more so the sexuality thing is kind of like, fam, y'all still on that? Like, unfortunately, yes. Like, how are yeah. y'all still on that? You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I think but. it was it probably just poor choice of words with Kev there. Well, anything with Kevin Hart and someone's sexuality is going to be magnified now. Because of past things, yeah. So that's true. I mean, he's in a place where no matter what he says, whether it's positive about people in their sexuality or whether people, they're gonna find something negative to take from. It. Well, all the same, he should probably be aware of that and maybe. Alter well, this his. was filmed a while ago too, so I mean, I don't know. Ignorant people should should shut up. <laughs> like yeah, that's, 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 or just tread carefully at the very least. Yeah. yeah. Well, ignorant to specific. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be emboldened topics. with your ignorance. <laughs> yeah. To specific go. topics, like Kev is not ignorant, but maybe in that specific topic, it's he doesn't know. Right. He came. So he, on, so he should not speak about things. He, he doesn't we know just about. magnify the wrong shit. No, he came off ignorant. But even if oh, even if he did, we still magnify the wrong shit. Like we're focused on what someone is saying about someone's sexuality. There's kids dying. There's people starving. From, people are still starving in the world. Like don't have any food. Like let's deal with more. Like someone's sexuality. So what? No, you sound Let's like talk him. about more serious shit. Like, no, you sound like him. Yeah, because it mean? is serious. You sound because it, it is serious, yeah. and that's insensitive. I'm not saying. I'm not that saying is that, what you're saying. I'm not saying it's not serious. I'm saying that, that is what that says. I'm saying for people to feel like what Kevin said and focusing on what he said and throwing shots at him, saying, "Oh, he was being insensitive." Is that? It's like okay, even if you do feel like that, so there's big. There's other things that are more serious. Like we know people are gay. People let people be happy. Like people let, let them love who they love. It doesn't matter. But, but more, if, I'm, can, if I'm gay or if I'm transgender or if I'm bi or if I'm just part of uh, any of these different communities, what you just said is offensive. How, what I just said? Yes. How is what I just said offensive? Because well, it's I'm minimizing. Saying, it's minimizing. It can, yeah. I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm yeah. saying people that are jumping on Kevin Hart's back for that. What he said about why why did you feel the need there to announce is that? There's a reason right. that these people are jumping on his back. Now, just say, yo, I understand what he was attempting to say, and it maybe came off the wrong way because we don't believe that Kevin Hart is homophobic. Mm-hmm. We don't believe that that he's intentionally offending uh, offending uh, gays. No, we I don't just think that's what he was trying to do at all. Apologizing to to the gay community for however many months, like we don't think that at all. But you have to be responsible for how you're perceived. True, and that's what this is. It's okay to tread light. All, yeah, like it's, it's okay to tread light. Yeah, but like yeah, I said, anything, cool. anything he says, even if it's the yeah. most positive shit about someone's sexuality, somebody's going to find something negative to pull from it. Because that's just under the scope, he's, the scope he's under right now. Because of previous shit that, that he said. Yes, he is under a scope for previous shit that he said, which is independent of the fact that 
had Kevin Hart uh, sounded like he understood why someone would be hesitant about coming out of the closet, no, he would not be receiving the same backlash. <laughs> I just can't. I still just can't believe that this is like a real thing that we have to talk about. Well, it's it crazy. You have, can you stop saying that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that to like, me, it's just crazy that the world has not accepted people in their sexuality. That's crazy to me. Like, I don't understand how the world has not just accepted but, but people when you in their word sexuality. it that way, more. I know what you're saying, but when you word it that way, it sounds like you're being dismissive to gay people and the, I'm not. The that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. Like, it's not. I'm a, a black man. That, I'm a black man. I would never dismiss nobody's. I part. know that, but the, you're wording it the way Kev did, so it seems like you're being dismissive. You're of doing all the, the issues exact that, thing that he did of what gay people. You're have wording through. something no, in I, a way that is offensive no, to the people that, experiencing it. All right, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying that I cannot believe that there are people who still do not accept other people because of their sexuality. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I can't believe there's people who hate people based on their sexuality. And That's what I'm saying. saying I cannot yeah. believe but, that. But to <laughs> That's then crazy. Say, to then say, all right, so why does it matter that he came out? That's where it becomes dismissive. Yeah, again, and and, the, and to continue and say, it's, oh man, other shit that we could like the kids is dying. Like it's like because I know that, I know the former the is what you is what you meant. The yeah. former of what you just said is what you meant. It's that period. And when you put yeah. the period there, I stand by all that shit. Right. Uh, in terms of anything, hey, how is niggas mad that niggas is black? How is niggas mad exactly. that niggas is like, gay? That shit is, how is niggas crazy. mad that, that niggas is women? Like, <laughs> right. I understand that, but it has to be a period there. Once yeah. you once you start attempting to minimalize it, yeah. or, no, or, that's or, not, or the caveat. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. not what I was doing at all. I wasn't minimali no. minimalizing anything. I was just saying that the fact that there are still people in this world who hate people based on their sexuality. Is the dumbest shit in the world it's to me. Yeah, I agree. like I, it's that's just I stupid. Agree. Like I, don't, I just don't understand. Uh, this is a good learning that, moment. I it think. doesn't affect your life at all. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like at all. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, if everybody just mind their fucking business, <laughs> Word. the I mean, world would be an amazing place. Like, how you niggas is mad about who somebody else is fucking? <laughs> Word. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't. But then again, we deal with that as straight men. Yeah. So I mean, gotta identify and not compare. Yeah. Uh, like she like that be making me mad. And I'm not not to dwell on this. We gonna, we gonna leave this, but like on the news not too long on not too long ago, there's a, a popular Hell's Angels bar where uh, uh, a lot of uh, gay people hang out, and it was it just it was a dude that just kept coming by defacing the bar uh, when they were closed, like every week. It was annoying me. <laughs> like, fam. Go do fuck? something. Well, get the fuck out of here. Word. Like, why are you just ruining property that ain't yours because you don't like some, Like, it's nasty, it's nasty, it's Go nasty. find something to do with yourself. Yeah, niggas be bored, man. Word. Um, uh, I followed Gary V. <laughs> okay. All right. That's not important news. You need some inspiration? Some no. motivation, perhaps? No, no. Like, look at Screen Man body and shit. Come on, Screen Man. <laughs> Are you going no. to go to one of his seminars? Listen, like I told you, gentlemen, I don't think I can afford to attend one of his seminars because they're rather expensive. <laughs> uh, but like I told y'all uh, a while ago, he says a lot of things that I typically agree with, so I've never felt the need to follow him because I know all of that shit. Mm -hmm. he, did, he caters to the entrepreneurs. But recently i've been really a fan of his really smug delivery <laughs> like he just talks like everybody's an idiot and i like it i do <laughs> I mean, he talks like he is disgusted that he has to tell you fucking buffoons he, this information he gets on his, his bill Maher shit. i love it i do i, I like it i, I follow him i hit follow and uh off of my i uh, i followed gary v point so my in the last podcast in the beginning randomly I told all of the podcasters to quit their job. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I stand by it. I'm doubling down. <laughs> doubling and tripling down. Wait, were, were, right? you, were people offended? People were offended, and I received a lot of tweets saying that I am spreading the wrong message. Okay. And that creatives can potentially fuck up their entire life by quitting their job at the wrong time. I want to okay. thank all you fucking obvious police out there. <laughs> Th thank you. Uh, I, it's a podcast, and we had a lot of shit to talk about, so I didn't want to take the time to express that you should 
consider all possibilities before yeah and you have to weigh your, your job weigh your situation yeah, out this the, the, shouldn't be a in the moment yeah, you know, yeah fuck you boss i'm out of here yeah, yeah i wasn't yeah. saying that at the point of what i was saying is take the leap you have to use your job to your own benefit somehow and you should reverse engineer the day that you exit you should have a day in your plan even if you don't stick to it yeah. But you should have a day in your plan where it's like, all right, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm out. The yeah. end. Whether that be a year from now, two years from now, that is how people get complacent. Just waking up and doing the same shit every day with no plan on how to progress or get out or just build and move forward. And there's also people that get too invested in their job to really invest the time necessary in their in creative themselves. passions. Yeah, I can speak on that for myself. I, I worked a job, and I got fired and then they hired me back and then I quit because I couldn't do it. Mm. And I was poor for a really long time. But when you say you couldn't do it, I, I had to wake up at nine o'clock in the morning, go to this job that I didn't give a fuck about. They ain't like me. I ain't like them. Why am I here? It's a waste of my time. That's what Gary V said. Waste yeah. everyone's time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a waste of everyone's included. time. Yeah. But I mean, even my, when I took that advertising job, my three year plan that I had was to quit. Mm. The end goal of that job was to quit. Right. It, it was to utilize the resources that I could there, which was a paycheck as well at the time, yeah. to fund other parts of my life. But I was like, yo, three years, that's my cap. I'm done here in three years. Right. And I just made it. And I got lucky. It could I could have pushed it to five if need be. That's okay. Yeah. But you should at least set a realistic goal when you enter a place that you probably don't want to spend the rest of your life at. Yeah, no, you had the pun doc coming out. You could have. That's true. You <laughs> stay. But you also have to. Like, that wasn't at that job, by the way. I think you should plan. Oh. You should plan to quit. It depends on your situation, too. Like, if you have an a expensive mortgage and a car payment or whatever, a kid, a family that you need to support, then you probably should not just quit your job and no, podcast. No, you, you, you plan. You plan. You Everything plan to has quit. to be planned. You yeah. plan to quit. But if you're young and you don't have responsibilities and you don't mind, well, you should you should not mind living poor and frugally for a while to pursue your passion. Builds character. Yeah. Like, you should... <laughs> working a job for a, a menial amount of money that you hate sucks. <laughs> and if you're going to make music or make art or make podcasts, you're going to need to devote a lot of time to it. And you're never going to be able to devote the amount of time to that as you are while you're working a job. And that's what Gary Vee said. Yeah. Gary Vee said, people are afraid to take a step back, to take a step forward. Yeah. And while that sounds like just common knowledge that everyone should know, he's like, niggas don't do that shit. Yeah. No. Yeah, you got to take a leap of faith, especially if you don't have any responsibilities financially. Listen, if you got to go shack up with some roommates yep. and split, bust down the rent nine different ways. I had three <laughs> people living in this apartment, four yeah, at one time. Yeah, if you got to, nigga, I had roommates for 10 years. Right. Mm. I think me and Moles fly like this. <laughs> but if you got to have roommates, if you got to fucking not buy the new sneakers, mm -hmm. if you got to go back to mom's for a year to hold it down, mm, like yep. there's some things niggas could do in preparation uh, to just start some new shit. Agreed. Yeah. yeah, that's it, yo. And if you don't understand nothing, I'm, nothing I'm saying, it's not for you. Correct. It, yeah, it, you're not it, there yet. I mean, it's two. It's two different groups of people. It's the people that get it and understand, and are willing to sacrifice. Risk takers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Risk. Risk takers. This, this shit takes like again back to that stubbornness. Like yeah. telling somebody, yo, if you do this consistently for the next. 10 years or for the next 15 years the rest of your life will change right. yeah, dramatically yeah who's willing to do that who's willing to walk into Very a job few. and say you know what i'm done here i'm done giving you all of my sweat equity i'm uh, equity i'm going to put it in myself and i'm just going to rock out until it works mm -hmm. it sounds a little a little insane you that's why relationships that's why relationships are important because you you'll have people that in that time will help you will hold you down will you know even give you a place to live and things like that, like you know, everybody's not fortunate enough. But I, I always, I always put more stock into having the right relationships. That's and, absolutely. And you can be, so you can be financially broke, but if you have the right relationships, you are wealthy. Trust yeah. me. Not, not even just. I had a key to D and D when I quit my job. There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was intern, but right. I was willing to bank on it. Right. And, and figure keeping, out a way to make some uh, money. Yeah. Keeping those people around you, we had to do press at Made in America, which was annoying because they asked the same questions, but one person asked a really interesting question was not, how are you guys friends? Why are you guys friends? And to that point, I had said that 
we're surrounded by risk takers. No one in this whole clique, and I mentioned the podcast too as well, I surround myself with people that take risks. None of them have a job. They've had them, but they've quit them. Mm-hmm. Wait, y'all, y'all heard them? Yo, and I was talking about my Deuce niggas. I mentioned y'all too. Like, <laughs> well, they, even my podcast. They us alone. They were asking. <laughs> they were asking. Sorry, they were Rory, you know what I mean? Cross yeah, marketed. Yeah, yeah. I like that, Rory. Well, no, I, I've always liked to surround myself with those type of people. I like people that Me take too. risks. I, I don't like, which is fine. It's fine if you do the other thing. I'm not getting at that. But Absolutely. how I ap- operate in my life and how I want to move forward is in this space. Mm. And there have so been I like successful. to be around people that take fucking risks. Like, I get it. Everyone in my Palooza crew has quit their job and is doing shit on their own. Right. I need to be around that energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel you. And there are people that can work the job and be successful artists or creatives, but it's difficult. Yeah. And it yeah. requires an intense amount of uh, uh, sacrifice and um, time. Do you go work harder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you don't know where the next check is. Ain't nobody fucking with your click. 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 <laughs> You tried to find the song and it wasn't in there. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> you probably spelt it wrong. Because it does use the Q, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it's a Q. A Q. C-L-I-Q-U-E. Correct. Yeah, he spelled it like click, like remote click. Uh, see, you got it. James Font's where I killed that intro. <laughs> and then didn't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of James Font, honestly. <laughs> Do say, do say, P. Do say, do say, P. This is roll, one of the best roll, beats in the last roll, 15 years. Roll, roll, P. Roll. All three of us are ignoring you. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. So no let me turn the music no down. No one's, no one's so paying roll, attention. Roll, 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 P. Fine. Joe will find any way to try to discredit me. I'm just cool with it. <laughs> yeah. Anything fine. positive. That's his way of showing love. Uh, let me hit the round of applause for Young Jeezy, Jeezy, yes, Jeezy, Jeezy, yes, yes, Thug Motivation, man got his master's back. All right. Congrats. That's what I read. Big news. Congratulations to Jeezy. Always a big deal when an artist receives their master's. Congrats to Jeezy. That's what I have there. Yeah, that's no easy task. These niggas will never tell us how they did it. Money. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know how. Money, muscle. Let I know mean, about a that little bit of both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I a little mean, intimidation, a little yeah, bit of money. Yeah, yeah. Just going all. You'll tim- take this money. Yeah, let the gat just show like through the white tee right here. Like your family, so I'm not going to ask y'all again. <laughs> yeah. Um. What else is happening? What else is happening? Did you guys see? Uh, this is a topic we've discussed before. <clears throat> okay. So we won't. We don't have to stay here. I just want to know if you guys have seen the new trailer for the Michael B. Jordan movie. <laughs> Don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because that movie looks like it might be all right. Don't do that. I'm going to see okay, the movie. Okay, all right. All right. Don't, well, because I know where you can go have, with that. Have you seen the trailer? Yes. Did you like the trailer? Yes. Why? I think the story behind it. I like the story too. Yeah. True, inspired by true story, exactly. right? Don't oh, that, that's always a good Don't that get blacks? That, that'll get you out the house. <laughs> that, that, that gets the yeah, blacks. That'll and get parts. you out the house. And me. <laughs> and I mean, anytime you, I see Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx, it, it, it kind of almost looks like they're trying to pass the torch in Hollywood a little bit. Like, what? <laughs> what was funny about that? <laughs> Come on. Yo, y'all have to laugh at Maul with me. How? <laughs> y'all let Maul get but- off. Just be honest. Anytime I see Michael B. Jordan and yeah, Jamie, that's what the fuck have you seen them two niggas before? This is the first time. So I'm saying. So what do you mean? Anytime I see them, meaning like if I see them nigga, in the same tell movie, the fucking true for it, Jane. Say the story sounds great. Joe, everybody, Jamie is killing Joe, it. Joe, and Joe, Michael Joe, B. Jordan said Joe, every, three words. Everybody doesn't have the same approach oh, as you, bro. But why don't they? Because the world is not Joe's <laughs> oh, world. Yes, it I is. Know it's not. Understand that. They put him next to an Academy Award winner. Like, I don't know if he's ever been in a movie with an Academy Award winner. This might be the first time. That's all I'm saying. Like, that says a lot. When they, when Hollywood does that, they're gearing you up to be like, all right, now you're about to start getting these type of roles. Why it's won't not just they the athletic, give Michael B. Jordan shape role. some more sentences? <laughs> well, I'm sure he's going to have more in this. He's, so he's sure the lawyer. A lot. He's the lawyer in I, the movie. I know. So I feel when the lawyer ain't talking. Nah, he, Wait, hold talking. on. Is he a lawyer or public defendant? No, he's a lawyer. Okay. He ain't about to talk. He's a public lawyer. defendant. He's going to sit right there. No, he's he about to be a lawyer and take his shirt off? No. See, but that's, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. They moving him away from that. No, they're not. No, nah, they moving him. He's a lawyer now. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. This lawyer about to fuck something up. No, no, no. a boxing lawyer. They can't make the diesel lawyer. He's a lifeguard on the weekends. The diesel lawyer can't be a thing. Black Panther lawyer. Ooh. A time to kill Panther. No, no, no. 
No. <laughs> Fuck your mom's so stupid. What you mean? I'm just. This <laughs> no. looks like the first real, no, like, the it looks first great. role where he gonna really be no, no, respected no, 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 as not, more than just no, that's not true. a, a no, good not looking true. actor. That's not true. That's not true. What other movie he had where he wasn't looked at as just a good looking no, actor? No, 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 no. He's a great looking actor, but this ain't about to be uh, a role to take Fru- him out Fruitvale of that. Station. He yeah. wasn't looked at the good like. He, he said in, three words in that, but he wasn't in. He wasn't in that that Creed shape in Fruitvale Station. He wasn't in that. All right, can we Creed. pause this conversation so Parks and Rory could see it? The trailer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Park, <laughs> Parks and Rory have seen it. I have. I, I see the humor it, that you found in this. Yo, yeah, oh, that's that's my only beef. When Maul act like he has no idea why I'm laughing at some shit. Come on, man. Oh, it's, a, it's you? an Amazon movie. No, no, no. Oh, that's why they ain't get this nigga some sentences. <laughs> it wasn't in the budget. Yeah. No, they got the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie got yeah. it. Yeah. No, Bezos got it. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, thanks, Avon. <laughs> Say Vaughn working better when Screen Man is here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Friends. Uh, Rory, what do you think? I still don't understand why Savon can't write the topics down and do the screen. <laughs> <laughs> to get a that's whole other person. That's what that did for you? <laughs> <laughs> and do the Doritos, right? <laughs> you want for Savon. Too, too much on his plate. <laughs> Jameson Doritos. <laughs> yeah, I could use one. And when that ace is made, we asked you for <laughs> like, like seven two weeks episodes ago. ago. It were. <laughs> it still ain't fun the ace. Yo, so I uh, know it. It it looks like one of those movies. Just yeah. that fast, you said more words than Michael B. Jordan said in that whole <laughs> trailer. He Michael did the B. voiceover. Fuck Joe up, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right in last lap. That's why Joe be slamming that shit, so we have to go. He gonna fuck Joe uh, up. He's ducking. Yeah, I know it's. Nah, he's gonna be confused because I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> He's going to do the concern face. He's going to try to talk back. Nigga, <laughs> don't try to talk back. They act. Come on, act like we fight. <laughs> the fuck that shit is, I like Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, this, but a spade this, this, is a spade, nigga. But what you mean he wasn't talking? He's a face actor. <laughs> He's a face actor. Like, they just give him a script with a bunch of faces to make. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the script says. Make <laughs> make the sad face. Yo, when the the act- forlorn yo. face. Yeah. <laughs> when, the, when the actors are getting busy, busy, when Jamie does this, jump back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I can see them definitely saying that. Exactly. Uh, all right. I mean, we've, we've gotten canceled enough this episode. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we won't be back. <laughs> uh, what else is there that is important to discuss? Let's see. Uh, we never talked about Fab driving the boat. <laughs> I mean, in Fab's defense, if Meg was pouring, it was Meg. Yeah, no, see, no. You're not taking the no. You're not doing the do save, no. Joe. You're not well, doing I don't the do save, but no. no. Roy, you're doing the do save. I would drink it myself. Meg, you is, wouldn't let her pour it in your mouth. No, Meg but is, I understand. No. No, I don't. just, I wouldn't do it. Meg is not putting her hand on my jaw <laughs> to, to open it gently. <laughs> she was on her dentist vibe. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, sorry, Meg. No, no, yeah, no, you can't, no. you can't allow that to happen. See what Meek said when she tried it. <laughs> Some hood shit. Nah, I don't know how to drive no boat now. Yeah, I, ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't driving the I boat. I don't know how to Put swim. Put it in the cup. Me. Yeah, yeah, not at Put all. Put it in the cup. <laughs> All right, yeah, we, we did fab. Look at Rory trying to make me cry. He's going to YouTube videos of the greatest dogs ever. <laughs> That's come a great on, YouTube on, search. On. Brooklyn and Harlem used to do that move. All right, well, there's a girl. <laughs> he used to do that move. Yeah. Yeah, look at Rory. <laughs> Rory is a sicko. <laughs> he used to do that trying move. Trying to distract you. Uh, what else is important? We didn't recap Power last week. We didn't. Which, which is fine because it's Saturday. Comes oh. on tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, well, tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, still bad. No, I'm tonight. I'm comes out of the power. Still got to see it through, though. Oh, I'm gonna keep watching, but it's still bad. Listen, and it's man. not getting better. Th- this <laughs> writing is nuts. Uh, this I have acting, not seen, writing. See, I have not uh, seen yeah. episode one or two yet. It's all bad. We just like fifty. Did you see yeah. Tariq meet his Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got the brains, and I got the I got the work. <laughs> Fuck you, sir. At the end, that was some bullshit. Yo, you play the, chess, I could beat you. Yo, the 180 in that combo of her saying, yo, I'm about to snitch on you. And he's like, nah, but there's money in this. And she was like, oh. 
Yeah. That's exactly. You mean there's money in selling drugs? <laughs> Tommy Why did showed you up with the turtleneck before? and the fucking chain out, the comb over. I don't know what's going on, man. And then she showed shit. up snitching. Yeah, yeah. The other nigga working for you, he ain't really getting busy out here. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Um, that was a little, you know, odd. <laughs> um, the 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 connect. Telling ghosts, striking a deal with both Ghost and Tommy. Ooh. You could never write that. <laughs> the range. <laughs> yeah, that that was a little. Uh, that was craziness. Uh, it's, it's all. Craziness. It's all bad. <laughs> I'm really sick of Tasha looking for. Uh, what's the lawyer dude that Ter- looked like Terry me? Terry Crews. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh, I'm Terry Silver. Sick of it. <laughs> Roy. I, I, I know Terry something. <laughs> You can't make fun of Terry Crews in these times. Why? Because he'll beat you up. Oh, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I can say. <laughs> that's all he'll give us. Yo, I gave these niggas an hour of cancellation jokes just, just to fall <laughs> just back to fall. at Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we draw Smart. the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. Yeah, fuck it. So uh, tune in to Power, episode three. <laughs> which will probably also suck, but... <laughs> and they didn't change the theme song. <laughs> No, no, it says it's going to change it for this episode oh, coming okay. up. Right. So tomorrow, it should be back to Joe. <laughs> and not Trey Song. That Trey Song shit is fruity. It won't be. That shit's trash. It 50, won't think be. He's, 50 think he's slick uh, hiding behind all this Trey Song smoke. The new verse ain't better than the old verse either, nigga. No, it's not. <laughs> it no. is a new verse. Yeah, no. Don't try to keep the same four bars and, and switch then, it. Yeah, and then get slower. Yeah, yeah. Money. Like whisper. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, sorry, sorry. I don't even know which way to go. Yeah, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Fifth. <laughs> one of my, one of my. What he said, Rory? <laughs> I don't even know which way to go. <laughs> uh, one of my homeboys invited me to a uh, uh, private viewing of Power on Sunday with the cast. Oh, you, Woo! Went, oh, you went there. You know Joe was in there for sure. Hey, Parks is wool. <laughs> you going? I'm not going. And you'll get, and you'll get confused on the red carpet I'm, for ghosts. I'm definitely not going. I wouldn't do the red carpet like you and your Ducey friends. I've, I've never uh, done a red carpet in my life. In your life? In my life. In your whole life, really? My entire life. I have, I don't really like, have an interest. Save on. <laughs> Google, <laughs> Google Rory yeah, red carpet. carpet. Yeah, please. <laughs> please Screen fact check man, that. don't you fucking start. <laughs> I think I might I think I might have seen Rory on the red carpet at the first puff party, him and Marty the Body. No, that was you and Marty the Body. No, it wasn't me. I wa- I kept walking. <laughs> Rory red carpet on Google. <laughs> there he is. There I am. Right there. Right, never mind, guys. <laughs> Killing it. There's Rory on the red carpet. <laughs> uh, right there with his arms arms out. Rory Culkin. I didn't know that That's was him. Rory That's Rory. That's me off the deuce. <laughs> um, we didn't get into Mac Miller at all. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, yes. Mac Miller. Uh, the alleged dealer was arrested. Mm. Uh text messages were released mm-hmm. all types of wild shit going on yeah it was fentanyl right hmm? fentanyl right yes and the dealer was charged right that's the way the game would go yeah but did y'all read the text no I didn't read the no. text what did the text say scream man um I have the text I can re- I can Read one. No, I'm not. I'm not going to read it. Yeah, we don't. But it was yeah. a very normal exchange of a gentleman trying to find drugs and escorts. Mm. Mm. Like the it was, yo. Do you have? You got pills. I mean, what do you got? Mm. Oh, you got that? I'm over here. This 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 is where I'm at. Mm-hmm. How much? <laughs> it's the address. Mm. Like that was the conversation. Sounds like it's a conversation that every single rapper has had, and most not rappers. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yo, when it, did this pill shit infiltrate hip hop? Like, what year was that? Mid, mid. Well, probably around two thousand nine, ten. I said maybe a little uh, bit before. It might have I'd been say a I'd say earlier than that. Cause oh what, five. Cause what, cause oh what, five. What pill you talking about? What was the first pill to uh, ecstasy? Ecstasy, and that was which maybe before oh five. But, but it wasn't as crazy. Yeah, as, but it as, wasn't. As, it wasn't. People weren't talking about it. Rap wasn't in a ecstasy ep- epidemic. Was, was, there was some artists that were doing it. But. Was Eminem the artist to start really like bringing that pill rap to the forefront? Probably, yeah. 
Well, them talked about all the drugs. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't specifically pills. Because uh, this then wasn't I, then a Wayne, thing in the 90s and like nah. the late 80s when I was listening to rap. Well, nah. it was way too much other fun shit to do in the late 80s and 90s. Sell drugs. They just repurposed the drugs. Repackaged the drugs. Yeah, but like this pill shit is like... I yeah, just Castro really doing heroin. Yeah, this shit is crazy to me. Like that so many people just willingly just pop pills like this. It's crazy to me that nobody has come up with a way for people to check their pills to see if fentanyl is in it. Mm. Yeah. Because pills, it, it's, it's a lucrative business. The business is not going to stop, whether in the streets or, or pharmaceutical. Mm-hmm. No, Prescri- the pill, the pill one's d- definitely not going to stop because it's white people drugs. Yeah, that's true. Pills are never going to stop. That's the U.S. government that has these. Like, Word. This, is nev- this business is never stopping. Coke stopped because we didn't we didn't grow the best coke. Well, oh, no, y'all about to get y'all about to get weed now. So we'll we'll see how you feel about pills. I mean, pills ain't going nowhere. Do y'all, pills, pills are the whole every age group. Yep. Like it's not just a specific people in their twenties blowing lines in Miami. Like and it's this not is just people in the streets group. making money. It's the fucking yeah. doctors making money. Pills ain't going nowhere. The pharmaceutical business runs America, boy. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't, I don't know if I gotta tell you that, but it's here. Do you believe? Uh, do you believe that the dealers should be charged and arrested? Um, and any of you can answer that. I don't. Well, I, yeah, I would say yes. Only because when you're dealing drugs like this, it is your responsibility to know what you're selling. So if he didn't know, it's fucked up. If he didn't know he had uh, pills laced with fentanyl and and shit like that, if he didn't know, it's fucked up. But you are dealing drugs, just like if a uh, a doctor is 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 performing a surgery and does some fucked up shit and loses a fucking a patient. He's not going to jail. His family, well, his family would would sue. His family would would pursue a trial. They, it would be some some type of court dealings going on. Is what I'm saying. There would this be is repercussions. On, yeah, yeah, this is just on the street level. Well, like, I, I mean, regardless, I'll sound like the nerd here, but I mean, he was selling an illegal drug. Right. So going to jail. So anyway. he's going to jail. There. I yeah. mean, regardless, yeah. there. I, I think what I your question is specific that. He wasn't aware of what he was giving Mac that killed him. Yeah, like if oh, he yeah, didn't I know. Thought that, I thought that's what I asked, no? Oh, well, right, maybe I'm you said, Yeah. Should he go to jail for do manslaughter or homicide? He, yeah, yeah, do you what think should the he charge should be, be charged yeah. and arrested? And, and that's my question to y'all. And I guess yeah, I, always, I, I always start there because, you know, anytime these types of conversations come up, I see a lot of people... Uh, uh, begin and end with the law, the law, the law. Well, the law, mm. the law is against the law, it's against the law. I never start or end there. The, the law has nothing to do with any of my conversations for the most part. The laws are man made. Right. And we don't need to get into who made them and why. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's against the law. Great. I got that part. So, awesome. <laughs> I guess uh, what a comparison maybe be if driving drunk is obviously illegal, but if you kill somebody while you're driving drunk, you should be charged with manslaughter. Mm-hmm. In yeah. this case, he was doing something legal, selling drugs, but somebody died in his hands in the drugs he was selling. Yeah, you, sh- you should get a manslaughter. Not for nothing is a person who has procured, still procures, and has a lot of friends who procure drugs from the illegal market. I would like there to be repercussions for people selling shitty drugs. Because I don't want to buy shitty drugs. I don't want my friends to buy shitty yeah, drugs. He, he, so, yes, I think they should have But you're not supposed to be buying Drugs, okay. Period. Sure. You're not supposed to be selling. So yeah. And drugs he's not or fake supposed drugs, to be period. selling drugs. Now, again, so the government would say, how could you regulate something that's illegal? We're not supposed to do. And that. again, let me let me qualify all of this with this this uh this the dealer is said to be a dealer to quite a few people. Uh-huh. Uh He he's uh had repeated dealings with Mac on several occasions. Uh, he's got it from like this this if you read the text, there seemed to be a trust. Oh yeah, he definitely knew him. It wasn't just some random nigga with some fake pills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but it's it's his job to know what he's selling. But you still have to prove intent. Oh, do I think he intention? No, no, I don't no, think he I don't think so. wanted to, Mac to die. But I'm just saying it's I his responsibility. I don't think he knew they was in there. <laughs> it's right. It's his responsibility as a drug dealer to know what he's dealing. Is all I'm saying. That's all. It's just, it, that's your responsibility. If he died as a result of you selling him something and and it killed him, then yeah. Especially if it's, f- it's with some shit he didn't want to take. Right. He didn't. I'm I'm one hundred percent sure Mac Miller did not intend to take fentanyl. Do you think they're giving this gentleman a manslaughter charge or a murder charge? 
It would probably be uh, manslaughter. Man, probably manslaughter. You can, I don't think you could yeah. charge him for murder. Because murder would imply intent. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think that he, he had intent poisoned to kill. Him. Right. They don't seem to be trying to disprove intent, is what I'm saying. Well, well, well that's what his lawyer would be for. Yeah. True indeed. Uh, regardless of how you feel about the topic, rest in peace to Mac Miller. Gone Absolutely. too soon. Yes. Uh, yeah. Peace, prayers, love, and condolences to his family, friends, and loved ones. Uh, Mac, I miss you. I love you. Uh, what else we got? Uh, there was a game clip that was that was going around uh, that everyone's saying he was rapping just like Nipsey Hussle. He kind of was. I got Drake. I got Drake on the first few bars, and then I, I totally understood the, the Nipsey flow. That he did the pause, pause after yeah, every yeah, bar yeah. thing. That's a that's a pretty Wait, signature. I, I got it right here. Game. game. I play. It. Is rapping like who? Nip. You tell me. Oh yeah. Wake up every morning and I'm grateful. To my city, I remain faithful. To my band, oh, I hear it now. Yeah. Oh, this is Nip. To my dead homies, I will never erase you. Fuck with me, though. Memory of my nigga Vito. Back and forth to Toledo. Everything stuffed in that regal. Come on. On that 10, twin desert eagles. Oh, yeah. Let them birds fly like eagles. Get your head cracked for that kilo. Bust the strap and reload. Even the accent. Like Even how he's throwing a kilo yeah, free the throw out. Yeah. Like the strong A sound. Yeah. This nigga's a big doof. <laughs> so, but all of the, but uh, this I nigga mean, is a fucking doof. Y'all go to Nip and uh, who you told you what you said? Nip and who? When I first heard it, I thought Drake. But hearing it just now, that's Nip all the way. That's I, Nip all the way. Uh, to me, that sound. Uh, I mean, not that sounds like Dom to me. Dom Kennedy, a little Domish too, yeah. yeah. Dom yeah. and Nip at times had similar yeah. flows because they fuck with a lot each of people. Heavy. Forget about Dom's influence on that. On the West Huge. Coast sound Why well, is game rapping Like Nipsey also I mean never mind I don't know the answer to this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I'm not wasting my time With this yeah. uh, Nothing else really important That we need to uh, Break down I watched I didn't get our Common album breakdown From Parks yeah, I told you I liked it I think it's good uh, Alright <laughs> There you go No I think they uh, His punchlines Were pretty bad though I don't know, They're kind of cringy But there's a lot of good songs There's several good songs On there The one with Jill Scott Is great I uh, bet it is Yeah it's like seven and a half minutes with a piano solo at the end for oh, Mad Long. Talking about his daughter teaching him about life. What's the A-track record common like? shit. Huh? What's the A-track record like? Uh, Why don't that, you listen that one to he's kind of rapping, rapping on. Okay. Why don't you yeah. listen to it along with I mean, the Chance album? I haven't, I haven't, discuss it on your I haven't had a moment to listen to two Chicago albums. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be at all the parties these albums. Like, come on. No, I don't think. It love, didn't love ring off? off? Well, we'll be listening to it now on our way up. Up to, uh, there you go. Yeah, me and Maul are going to Boston again. Kareem Riggins did the whole thing, who was a Dilla uh, associate. Dope. So the musicality is nice. Live drums, live keyboards through everything. Uh, but yeah, some of his punchlines are a little bit like, ooh, damn Out of shape, yeah, but yeah. At, yeah, but at 45, yeah. you need to be like... Well, no, I just wish he wouldn't don't maybe do, do the punchline. Not try to do it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. his, his, his songwriting is still top-notch, in my opinion. Top notch. He's a great songwriter. <laughs> he writes good songs. Yeah, I love the words that we use. <laughs> no, it's top notch is just a funny word. It is. How many woos did, did you give off? <laughs> no, not, not, not many woos. Is that a wooey album? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't woo at the didn't woo, woo, well, not, not one time. Nah. <laughs> woo. Nah, no woos. Damn, calm. I heard you were watching some woo, though. Speaking of woos. I watched the... Uh, Segway Prince. Killing it today. You know what I mean? Uh, I watched the first episode... Pulling up half, from anywhere. Half of the <laughs> second of the Wu-Tang Hulu series. And I'll be honest with you, I am confused as fuck. <laughs> Why? Uh, at first, uh, going into this, I think this was supposed to be a series about how Wu-Tang was created. Yeah. Now I think it's a series with the Wu Tang characters and kind of their story, and then a bunch of random shit that didn't happen. Oh. I don't understand. This isn't a spoiler alert because is happens. that a video game or is that a real picture? That's a real picture. Oh, okay. That's great. Uh, I'm not doing a spoiler alert because it's within the first minute of the first episode. Yeah. Uh, Raekwon shoots up Ghost's house with his two brothers and mom in there. Okay. So right, I'm cool. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Well, how, then where did the purple tape come in? <laughs> Uh, I wonder if there's any historical. I don't know the story of their childhood. I, I thought maybe they were trying to do the kung fu movie shit as them. Uh, this is just I don't know because it, it was sold that. as this was the, the creation of Wu Tang. Uh, Power and Divine are like the two big homies that are beefing, and like uh, half of Wu Tang's with one, half with the other, and they're and Riz is in the middle. Like let's just make music, and 
That's what I got. That's how he sounded. <laughs> Let's yes. just make music. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to watch it, but that that scares me away a little bit. It, it's not how the series put together it's, isn't bad, but the right. storyline just throws you the fuck off. How is uh, the rapper actors East and uh, Joey? Uh, in the first episode, East as Method Man is in it for like one second. Okay. Uh, Joey Badass Inspector Deck he hasn't even come in yet. Okay. So no, I don't. I, I can't comment on what that. What is this on? Now that sounds kind of interesting. Hulu. That's that. Y'all just made it a little interesting with Dave the dude that plays Divine looks just like Divine and acts like him. He, he's killing that I role so little, far. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks like Divine. What network is uh, releasing this? Hulu. Hulu. Are they producing it, or is this is this a mass appeal thing again? I don't know. No, no, no. I know Met, it says in the credits Method Man is executive producer, but I, I think this is a straight. Yo, Hulu what's that dude's production. name right there? With the uh, green bandana, on, that kid. Green bandana. Far, yeah, he got the green bandana. That's true. Is that? No, that's not. That's oh, the dude that's that Lucky plays Day. RZA. What's it name? does look just like Lucky Day. Look <laughs> 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 just like. Come on, it's Lucky Day, boy. He's at the pool party. <laughs> he rolls some more, misunderstood. Is that the kid that was in that movie with Denzel? And uh, 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 John Q. He no. got the heart. <laughs> He's all grown up. Malcolm X. That's is justice. That, is that the same that kid from? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a good actor. I like him. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's in Moonlight. <laughs> oh, that's solidified it. Oh, this is a RZA Productions production. Is a production okay. company. ODB son obviously is great because he acts and looks just like him. Is this a season? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a series. The other week when Parks told us that Netflix would be uh, releasing episodes uh, weekly... Uh, that was my first time hearing it, so it didn't really quite sink in. And then as soon as I left, I was really mad about that. Why? Because what the fuck are you doing? Well, I don't think it's with everything. I think it's just with certain uh Stop tinkering services. with shit that works. I mean, I don't know. Stop trying to space out your fucking numbers. I'm not mad at it. I hate it. Because why, I, not, I why not just go back to watching TV? Yeah. You think I'm about to be on my personal app with a cliffhanger? <laughs> <laughs> Where, ooh, next week on Netflix. No, yeah. that that sound that's bad. That's I get bad. I get why Hulu does it because Hulu could do it because I ain't gonna be mad at them. Well, no, I get what they do it because there's a subscription where you can pay for no commercials or lesser for commercials, and you can get obviously more ratings and people to come back more with ad money. If there is a cliffhanger and we're waiting for it next week, you can chop up a bunch of different ads. But if I'm Netflix, I don't get it. There is no option for ads. Why is it called a cliffhanger? Because <laughs> you're hanging from the cliff. It'd be very suspenseful. <laughs> you were hung from a cliff before? Yeah. The suspense is... <laughs> something. I've never hung from a cliff. Okay. <laughs> no, no, hanging no, from a cliff would be when I've never your girl texts you, we need to talk. Oh, yeah. That, that's the cliffhanger. You know that feeling you get in your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you try to hit balance. You go, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. when? Just say when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, I, nah, I, I want to talk to you, too. Yeah. There's some things <laughs> I wanted to talk yeah, about. You know, she's been sitting on the foot of that bed for 72 hours. Yeah. <laughs> just, just waiting for a sighting of you. <laughs> don't With let, a list of notes. Don't let her see a you yeah. sighting. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just start trying to make up shit to do. <laughs> Not go home. Studio. Oh, man. You ever got hit with a, just the LOL? <laughs> Oh, and nah. you just kept trying to find out. No, what was the funny. LOL with the period. By the, yeah, by the yeah, time yeah. that comes, you had you had better had stopped caring about her first. <laughs> yeah, like by the time that LOL with the period come and nothing after. Yeah, you better not really care about her. Or you better dot, be off dot, it. Dot. <laughs> if you're invested, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. scary times. It's nasty out there. We got to talk from anybody is actually bad. Yeah, I realized that. Uh, the older I get, I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> or I talk to you all the time, so like, why do we have to talk? Like, y'all are the only people I talk to all the time. I don't want to talk to anybody else. <laughs> and we do it because of like, a contract. We, yeah, we, we, we have a job to do, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rory, what do you think about this album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't give, that, I don't give like, a shit what you thought about fuck it. Fuck it, nigga. Rory, go to Boston. I'll be home. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, you going to Boston with Rory? Boston Palooza? Yeah, I mean, who else to go to Boston Sounds with, odd. with an Irishman? Sounds yeah. str- nobody. No, yeah. <laughs> None, nobody. I didn't hit Rory like, yo, what time you leaving? Yeah. yeah Take me, a little road uh, trip. It'll be me, Styles, and Mo oh, in, ro- in the caravan. Styles B? No. My friend Chris Styles. Styles. <laughs> that would be a great that's road a, trip. That's a good trip. <laughs> me, Rory, and Styles B. <laughs> <laughs> but why are you going all the way to Boston for Deuce Palooza? Uh, it's a just, nice city. Yeah, it's just... Go out for the day. 
Well, by the time they hear this, it, it had already happened. So whatever Maul was going to do has been done. I'm just going to just to. He's in a cognac vibe, bro. It's in no, Boston. In Boston, yeah. <laughs> in, in Boston. Yeah, he's a big yeah, Fab fan. Fuck with Fab. Oh, Fab. Yeah, yeah, Fab's performing. Static's gonna be there too. I think Static will be there. Yeah, big you Static. Ever had, you ever had the clam chowder? Where mm-hmm. they parked the boat? <laughs> <laughs> right in the harbor. <laughs> The clam chowder in Boston. Huh? <laughs> they got good clam chowder. Yeah. Oh, lobster roll. Oh, yeah. Come on, lobster. Uh, uh, God, gotta try it. Gotta man. try the lobster. <laughs> it's, to, it's to die for. It's to die for. I just had some well done lobster rolls that were to die for, Joe. That's it, Joe. No, yeah, don't read into roll. it. Lobster roll on a Friday. It's right there in front of you. We uh, we in no. da- we in Dallas next weekend if if y'all want to do a little, little pod trip. They got good yeah. lobster out there too. They have yeah, great more. lobster. No, no, they don't. They Dallas is known lobster. for their lobster. Everyone knows you go to Dallas for the lobster. Everyone, yeah. Joe. Yeah. How do you not know that? I didn't know it. Oh God, let me tell you. I'll bring you one back, don't worry. Oh, you gonna have to do? Bring back lobster, still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I could just tell when Rory and Maul get in there. Let's be friends this weekend, bag. <laughs> There's some debauchery. Oh my God, it's happening! It's happening. <laughs> what you mean? And, and I would like to be there to watch. Let's roll up. Like, would that tell him? <laughs> what do you think? We're stop what we're going to be doing? <laughs> oh shit! No, yes. Joe and Barks are here. Just chilling. Yeah. Let's get into yeah, uh, disguise. Exactly, exactly Let's go incognito. I think I, th- I think I would catch Maul right in the act of making a drink. They <laughs> <laughs> can see me make one yeah, think, drink. I think, now would, make drinks I think he would drop the juice. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, fumble it on the ground. <laughs> nah. Now you look doofy in the face in Boston. Nah. It's Duce Blues. I don't got to make drinks here. I take the night off. Yeah, you can chill. It's only just Duce and ice. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Come on. <laughs> Is no, going? we have cocktails it's like Wale cranberry and douce uh, or ginger ale. Uh, I, I, I don't know how niggas ain't fuck Joe up. <laughs> is Wale going? Wale is definitely going. So let's just yeah, dispel no, that rumor. Whether, whether they know it or not, Wale in Boston right now yeah. in a Tom Brady jersey yeah. <laughs> with some matching kicks and some wrestling player. Yeah, <laughs> a wrestling player. Yeah, <laughs> he got to take it to the next level and hang out with yeah, the wrestlers. Of course. Yeah. Wale and these Griselda niggas with this wrestling shit. Hey, I man. like it. That's, that's a market. Yeah, it is. You like it, but Banks got to stop, right? <laughs> nah, I didn't say Banks had that. Why do you keep trying to put that Banks was about. never into wrestling. Don't I never said that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Banks should maybe get into wrestling. All I'm saying is don't worry about it. I never said idea. Banks needs to stop. Why do you keep making it seem like I, didn't, I don't fuck with Banks? I fuck with him. He just don't, he's not current. Like, he's not, he don't keep putting shit out. All I'm saying is this, and then I'm moving on. Anytime is somebody I fuck with, I've never had to say it. <laughs> I've never seen. No you have mad times On the podcast You shitted on someone For 35 minutes Like nah but I fuck with them <laughs> That's kind of What I'm saying to you Rory If you listen carefully <laughs> No I, I've never, We never came in Y'all fuck with Hove <laughs> I mean you say that We all say that No we're the Hove Avengers. Hove <laughs> Yeah I know That's nasty <laughs> We are the Hove Avengers. Right. Yeah, we that. are the Hove no, no, Avengers. No, no, it no, no, makes, uh, makes us sound like Hoves Yeah no Yeah I don't no. like it well, Which, who, who else will avenge Hove? <laughs> no. Look at it. It's just nasty. Sounds no. like we're avenging the hoes or yeah. we are the hoes. I'm saying Hove. I know, but it's not. You got to break Hove-venger. it up. Avengers. It sounds, Hove 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 it sounds like Hovengers. All right. Anyway. It sounds like sleepers. How about that? <laughs> <sighs> it's that time again, fellas. Poetry time. Time to get out of here. All that time. <laughs> Poetry time. Y'all sound like y'all had a good time ending it. Y'all want to end it again? Go ahead. Yo, <laughs> remember the last time is the last in the past. The first train <laughs> won't be the last. No matter how late it is. Remember, that fiend not short. They trying to get over on you. <laughs> <laughs> that fiend not short. They not trying short. to get over on you. Are fiends short still today? Never. They're never sure. They just want to do some other shit with the rest of the money. I'm going to get high and then go eat. No, nigga. Nah, but, the, but the short in the 90s, like. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was getting snaps Rory, ready Rory, for your poem. Rory, what's up, man? What, I, was getting, I was getting snaps ready for what's your poem. What's the snap here? Well, I didn't hear it yet. I was going to try to hear well, it. Well, let's hear what you. Let's hear your pre production. <laughs> pre production on air? Yeah. Let me hear your live production. That's like after you say something dope. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. That's why I'm not going to Boston. <laughs> I don't think I'm going anymore. <laughs> uh, this was cool. 
this was cool, man. I would love to be back on Wednesday, man. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys keep us in your prayers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of cancelable shit on this episode. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I think it was just from Maul, so we'll bring Marty back. <laughs> <laughs> if we get too bad out there. I like how during the intro, y'all just think it's time to look at y'all phones. Oh, no, I was trying to find up. You know, I mean, man. outro. What the fuck are y'all searching for? An Uber to go home. Uh, let me EQ this shit, man. Say my little poem and get the fuck out of here. Listen, thank you guys for joining us. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. I didn't do that in the beginning, but it's very, very important. Rory has me purchasing jewelry in the winter. Yeah, I got a, I got a chain. A chain around your neck by then. Well, I told y'all, but Spotify got the JBP chains coming for all of us. Ooh, Ain't nobody shit. fucking with our click. <laughs> click. <laughs> click. Are you going to wear the choker? Uh, maybe. Somebody has to be the YG of the gang. Um... <laughs> 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 uh, I'm thinking about maybe some cool matching varsities for Maul, huh? Huh? <laughs> matching uh, varsity. You know Maul want a varse. That's true. That's his swag all day. Yeah. There. I got a mean varsity coming, too. <laughs> coming? Yeah, I ain't get it yet. Tough mm. crowd? Nah, we doing those, though. For sure. Can I get the baggy tough crowd sweats, please? I got you. <laughs> I thought they was in the bag. But I, 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 I know. My bad. I know. Uh, listen, man, thank you guys for listening. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Uh, until next time, I bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, so long, goodbye, all of that shit. Life is a series of moments, and moments pass. All right, I'm down. Life is a series of moments, and moments pass, so let's make this one last. <laughs> now I feel like Adebisi. <laughs> <laughs> let's make this one last as if it's all we have. You and Rory just can never turn the, whatever your, the joke is down a little bit. <laughs> like, no, the joke needs to be loud. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm trying to talk. You can't find the pocket? Uh, yeah, not at all. Come on. Bongos uh, aren't quantized. It's hard. Not uh, double time it. <laughs> Not quantifiable. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Why is this always that? This is when you're trying to get us to get it. <laughs> Look at fucking Park trying to turn me into more. fucking Balvin. Turn this shit off. <laughs> Look at trying to turn me into fucking Button Babby. <laughs> button Barbie. Whatever the fuck it is. Uh, keep us... Uh, what, what was the shit? Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Remember, the girl is not cute. She's young. Uh, she's not thick. She's on the tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's sitting on the sink. She doesn't like you. She's hungry. That's not woman's intuition. She went through your phone. She doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. And last but certainly not least, she is not protecting her peace. She is avoiding accountability and failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect on not only her life, but other lives as well. Hmm. All right. And that's what I got for you, man. Until the next time. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Th thank you, Maul. Thank you for showing up. Thank, thank you, you uh, Parks and yeah. Rory, for the yeah. additive music. Yeah. Of course. For the so snapping do. or whatever that is. Thank you, Erickson, <laughs> for filming and shit. <laughs> thank you, Savon and Screen Man. <laughs> what is Screen Man's name? Alex, uh, no, it's screen, screen, screen Man is better. I'm going with Screen A. Yo, we screen didn't even man, get screen into man. the latest craze sweeping the nation. I'm scared. All right, we're, we're done. Are we done? We're so done. Brooklyn, John. We didn't even talk about. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't talk about so Brooklyn. Rory been sitting here writing his Sojourner Square bars for mad, <laughs> <laughs> mad long. I'm so <laughs> Irish. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Irish. I'm so <laughs> Journal Square. I just moved out. Damn. Well, yeah, now. Well, don't say it here. But I mean, tell me sometime. I'm still in Jersey City. I'm so L.I. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so screen man. <laughs> I'm so L.I. Oh. It's more than just iced tea. Uh, I, I know y'all got hey. it to y'all. Hey. <laughs> I'm so L.I. Commit the crime. See me right back on the street even after the bail high. Oh. Hey. Get your shit off. Come on, say bye. <laughs> Come on, what they going to do on the bail high? Uh, when the bell high. <laughs> Say, Ma, you ever had a bell? They gotta go sit up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can look at Say, Ma, look like a nigga that has never had a bell. Yo, don't do so a lot. Don't do it. So Let Scream Man take this one on his own. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, so I'm getting the fuck out of here. Damn, we ain't touch football season. Nope. Sorry. I, listen, I think that this, and this is my, this is a real hot take. No, cold take, cold take, cold take. The Giants going to win their only game in week one against the Cowboys. <laughs> the Dolphins ain't going to win a game. I know I let Kenyon Drake sit there, sit there on every draft I had. <laughs> he ain't running for he nothing. He sat in our draft. Dak sat in our draft. Yeah. Dak's still sitting there on the waivers waiting for a contract. <laughs> yeah, I was picking him with the 18th our league, pick. Our league but... showed him no love. If I was a or... football player, I'd be like, yo, fam, if I'm not getting picked up in fantasy, <laughs> now's probably not the time to negotiate my contract. <laughs> yeah, for real. That yeah. got to have some type of... Yeah. If I'm a GM, I'm paying attention to the fantasy yeah. leagues. Look like, at they ain't pick you up. Yeah, yeah, like they ain't even pick you up. <laughs> yeah. The JBP slept. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going. Rory, uh, Moore, you guys be safe from in the bean. Oh, will. always. Yeah. Bring back a lobster for me. Oh. Got you. Yeah, yeah appreciate that. Always. Lobster rolls for everybody. Yeah. Now you know, fucking bean niggas gonna fuck you all up real quick. So always. Oh, always <laughs> be safe. Make sure it's not always. always make sure I'm safe. Oh. Make sure Rory's safe out there. She's Irish. She's at home. I should, I'm, I'm yeah, with her. Make her. sure security don't touch his collar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same I don't want to see back none of that. Same collar. Man, I'm coming out there, man. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> enough for the collar snatching? Yeah, yeah. Enough of this. All right. We out of here. One. <laughs>